Welcome to High School Football Game Night. Presented by Scenic Cable Network and Production. Now, here's tonight's game. Welcome to the Northview High School Senior Recognition Night. First up tonight, we will introduce our senior football players. We'll ask you to hold your applause until the end of introductions of the entire football senior group. First up, Trey Balka, son of Sean Brown and Kirsty Balka. They've been greeted by Coach LeBron Stewart and Mr. Chris Shaw, the principal of Northview High School. Jairus Barner, son of Tora Gardner. Adrian Brooks, Jr., son of Adrian and Tracy Brooks. Trey Brown, son of Joe and Beverly Brown. Jonathan Carmichael, son of Jonathan and Glendale Carmichael, Sr. Caleb Easley, son of Eric and Rhonda Easley. Satchel Foster, son of Scott and Lisa Foster. Scott is serving in Afghanistan. Darius R. Geary, son of Benjamin Green and Diana LaRota. Antonio Glasgow, son of Yolanda McHenry. Jalen Harris, son of Eddie and Mary Harris. Pierre Harvey, son of Jerry Harvey. Justin Henson, son of Kevin and Deborah Henson. Ethan Holland, son of Sean Holland. Cameron Jackson, son of Carl and Dee Dee Jackson. Ivan Jamel Lampkin, son of Michael Lampkin and Winnie Smith. Sigmund Magic Magic Kadumi, son of Lola Magic Kadumi. Keandre Martin, son of Andre Martin and grandson of Walter and Brenda Kinsey. Grayson Medford, son of Ricky and Melissa Kirkland. Jacavius Newsom, son of Howard and Shonda Newsom. Maurice Pittman, son of Maurice Pittman and Lucinda Jones. Perez Reynolds, son of Benny and Lori Johnson. Corey Ritter, son of LaShawn Ritter. Sedaris Russell, son of Yonanda Lawson. Stephen Spivey, son of Norman and Kelly Spivey. Seth Stam, grandson of Jim and Chris Christensen. James Tillman, brother of Whitney Tillman. Marquez White, son of Lorenza and Teresa Thomas, and grandson of Roy White. Corey Lamar Whitehurst, Jr., son of Corey Lamar and Denise Whitehurst, Sr. These are our senior football players and their families. Please give them a big round of applause. Our seniors and their families will be exiting through the north end zone. of our senior band members and their families. They're being greeted by Mr. Larry Batchelor and Mr. Chris Shaw. Mr. Batchelor is the band director. Mr. Shaw is the principal. First up, Jessica Bennett, daughter of John and Lisa Bennett Dohler. 
Z. Berry, daughter of Terry Pullen and niece of Ruby Greenwood. Hope Castor, daughter of Adrian and Katrina Castor. Jose Sapiro, son of Juan and Lynette Sapiro. Courtney Clark, daughter of Hunter and Angela Clark. Nolan Craig, daughter of Richard and Rochelle Craig. Drew Gaunt, son of Jeff and Lisa Gaunt. Kaylin Holman, daughter of Keith and Melissa Holman. Emily Kingry, daughter of Clyde and Susan Kingry. Kristen Coaches, daughter of Mark and Marty Coaches. Tyler Kramer, son of John and Luann Kramer and sister Dominique. Ellis Landers, son of Luke and Ann Landers. Michaela Marston, daughter of Michael and Lori Marston. Shelby Morrow, daughter of Mason and Susan Morrow. Latori Sanders, daughter of Elder Jerome and Barbara Sanders. Justin Snell, son of Sabina Bryant. Dallas Sparks, daughter of Barbara Hunt and accompanied by her brother, Eddie Hunt. Kiea Stewart, daughter of Joe and Keisha Stewart. Veronica and Victoria Taylor, twin daughters of Christy Govani. Brittany Wilson, daughter of Rob and Paula Trujillo. Laura Wise, daughter of Stephen and Renice Wise. Alyssa Young, daughter of David and Misty Cornelius. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012-13 Northview Band seniors and their families. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Cheerleaders. They're being greeted by Coach Stewart and Mr. Shaw. Senior cheerleaders, Hannah Drone, daughter of Mike and Susan McKnight. Ikea Glasgow, daughter of Bailey Glasgow, Jr. Macy Grice, daughter of Brad and Sandy Sanders. Lexi Lee, daughter of Angie Lee. Brooke Lincoln, daughter of Joe and Paige Lincoln. Tiffany Wynn, daughter of Toe and Sim Wynn. Jessica Richardson, daughter of Bill and Michelle Richardson. Shay Williams, daughter of Russell Williams and Margaret Johnson. Shaquille Young, daughter of Eric and Vanessa Young. And now for our Northview High School senior choir members. Jackson Riviera, Harris, Kenny and Angel Riviera. Titania Townsend, parents Cliff and Titania Townsend, Nathan Hernandez, parent Noel Hernandez, Elizabeth Butler, parents Denise and David McCleveland, Jessica Bennett, daughter of John and Lisa Bennett Dolan. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012-13 cheerleaders and choir from Northview High School. Hello and welcome to Rip Hughes Stadium. We're at Knowledge and Field tonight where the Northview Cougars are hosting the Prattville Lions. I'm Mick Kirkland along with Jimbo Lofton right. bringing you all the action. Let's join Jimbo on the field for the coin toss. The Northview. Got some handshaking going on. 
Here we go, Mick. All right, gentlemen, I call you gentlemen because that's exactly what we expect you to be. And we know that gentlemen always play with sportsmanship in class. Is everyone up for sportsmanship in class tonight? Thank you, gentlemen. As captains of your team, I'd also ask that you encourage your teammates to play with sportsmanship in class. Can you do that? Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, do you still intend to receive if you win? Yes, sir. Do you still intend to defer if you win? All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it and tell you you've been deferring. All right. Here we go. You've won the toss. You can defer. Yes? yes sir. Right. These gentlemen here. There you go. Defer. Here's the deal, Mitt. Uh, actually, prior to, the, uh, prior to the coin toss, the visitors, Prattville, wanted to go ahead and defer. Cougars want the ball. And let me tell you, we got a good ball game here tonight. Uh, last game of the season, obviously, but let me tell you what we got at stake. Cougars at five and four come in, have an opportunity to have a, a winning season for the first time in a good while. Prattville, on the other hand, is four and four. First time they are not going to make the playoffs since 1999, but lost to some quality teams. So don't make that schedule anything. But remember, this is whether uh, Prattville has a winning season or not. So a lot of slot at stake tonight for both these teams, Mitt. And we're looking forward to a great ball game. And I think you're right, Jimbo. I, uh, I was a little surprised to hear Prattville's record this year. Uh, just kind of looking over their schedule, they lost to Carver Montgomery by a score of uh, 49 to 24. They lost to, to Spain Park 27 to 20. Uh, they defeated with Tomka 44 to 14. They defeated Thompson High School 33 to 10. Stanhope Elmo, boy, they lost to 24 to 21. They won against Pelham 31 14 and lost to Oak Mountain 21 to 17. And they beat uh, Chelsea High by a score of 47 to 28. That's right. And they've come off, like you said, had a couple of wins. But let me tell you something. Don't let that record fool you, men, as we've said. Good quality school with a lot of good tradition, a lot of great tradition, particularly in recent years. Uh, again, as you said that, some of those teams they've lost to, all those, all those teams they lost to are 7-2 and two this year, Mitt. Uh, so it's a, it's a heck of a game tonight. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can dig out somewhere, see if we can dig out Coach Stewart. Here he is. I'll see if we can. I don't know whether we're going to be able to. He's pretty close. Let me see if we can get a quick sound bite from him or whatever. Okay. Uh, you know what? He's putting the headset on. I'm not going to bother him. I'm going to let him get down the ball, Mitt. Okay. Thanks, Jimbo. And uh, just kind of looking at uh, what has happened this year for the Cougars, like Jimbo say, they are in a position to have a winning season, the first one in quite a few years. So we're looking forward to that now. Talking about key players for the Cougars, you got to talk about uh, Jalen Harris. He's that quarterback for the the Cougars, and Harris is he's our number number six. Excuse me, he's number uh, uh, as well as I know uh, Harris's number. I kind of drew a blank there, but anyway, Harris is. Uh, uh, has rushed for 792 yards this year, and um, he's averaging 88 yards per game. In the passing category, he's 101 of 209. He has over 1,800 yards and is averaging over 200 yards, just above 200 yards per game. He has 16 touchdowns to seven interceptions. And uh, receiving the big play guys are... Jonathan Carmichael, he's averaging 25.7 uh, yards per catch. He has five touchdowns. And Keandre Martin, he has, uh, he's averaging 21.5 yards per catch. So it should be a <coughs> good game for the Cougars. We're hoping they can come out and really take charge of this game early. And you're up, Mitt, as, as I'm coming up the stairs. Heck of a kick, and here we go. I don't think I think everything in the playbook's open tonight, Mitt. I think you're exactly right, Jimbo. So we look for big things out of the Cougars, and they just had a tough time last week. But I expect them to come back and rebound and uh, put up an impressive uh, last game of the season for them. Well, you know that good week of practice. Talk to the coaches. So uh, looking forward to some good things. And, Hey, Mitt, when I get to the press box, I'm looking for some oxygen. <laughs> well, I got some H2O up here for you. So just if you can make it up here, I have something for you. So Northview will be starting on their own 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10. And it's a reverse. And number 12 has it, and he could go all the way. And he's down inside the 40, down to about the 35-yard line. That's Keandre Martin with the big game for the Cougars. 
Well, 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 man. Yeah. You're on, Jimbo. Am I, am I in? Yeah, you, you're on. Okay, well. All right, there we go, Mitt. Uh, hey, felt like almost in the movie The Water Boy. Boy, they can't leave anything out tonight, right? <laughs> That's right. So it will be uh, first and 10, the ball at the 34-yard line. At the big run by Martin. Pass over to Carmichael, and it's incomplete at the 15-yard line. Good play. Like the call. Hey, why not go back up to your big man? Let's see what happens. So it will be uh, second and 10. For the Cougars. Jalen Harris, number eight quarterback, and I just had a blank earlier. He decides to keep, no, he hands Give it, it off, off to Blocker. The, yeah, to Blocker, number 20, and he takes it inside the 30 down to about the 26-yard line. I'm sorry, Caleb Beasley, I apologize. It? Yeah, okay, yeah, I, gotta get, I got my glasses on now after I got my oxygen. I'm good to go. And there's your roster. So we'll bring up uh, third and about four for the Cougars. And they're going to run trips out here to the near side, Mitt. And uh, third and four, that's that's danger zone because here you go. Look at this. little inside reverse, and there we go. He should – well, that's going to be close. Looks like he's going to spot it very close. But I feel like Keandre Martin is going to make that play. Let's see what we get here. Well, it's four down territory, whether it's short or if they made it. Looks like they – First down. It. There we go. So the Cougars get a first down off of a short run by Martin, a gain of three, so it brings up first and ten for the Cougars. And quite frankly, a pretty nice crowd out here over for the hometown Cougars, even though uh, the uh, National Peanut Festival started tonight. A lot of schools moved their games uh, up for that, but you know what? Cougars are just going to come out here and play a little ball, then go have some fun. Trips here to the near side mitt. Harris looks it over, drops back. He's going to throw that fade to the corner, and uh, oh, my goodness. Boy, that's, you know, and he is such a big receiver over there. Lopez Pittman, 6'6", 235 pound senior, but good coverage by the defensive back. Yeah, there. that was Walter Steele uh, with real good coverage, knocking that ball away from Pittman. All right, second and 10, going to have trips again this side. Still going to have the big man Pittman out to the right. Harris going to hand it off to Easley. Easley's going to make the corner. Oh, almost. Good pursuit there by uh, Prattville on that play. Matter of fact, that was uh, number 44, Jared Jones on the tackle. And uh, so uh, no gain on the play, so to bring up a third and 10 for the Cougars. This drive started on their own 20-yard line. I like your thinking, though. They're going to go to the double twin set here, Mitt. Harris looks it over, looks to the sideline. Gets his call. Gets another read. Looks like we've got a little play change going on here. Down to three on the play clock. Two, one, timeout. Good call by good call by Harris on a third and ten to take that timeout, Mitt. So we have timeout on the field with 9.23 left in the opening quarter, and the score is... Northview nothing, Prattville nothing. So it's third and ten for the Cougars. Going to come out here after a uh, after a timeout. They ran out of ran out of time as they were looking for what play to make. And Harris looks back, and he's going to. Oh, he's got Martin open over there. Nice catch by Martin for a first down. Let me tell you. He had double coverage on him, Mitt, but quite frankly, but he had really broken away from both coverages. I tell you what, Martin did a good job of looking for the ball and coming back to the ball and catching it, and it was a big game for the Cougars, and it gives them a first and goal, the ball at the eight-yard line. All right, well, here's what I like about this deal, Mitt. We're going to have trips here to the near side. We're going to have the big man Pittman off to the right. He looks back, going to give it to Easley. That's a good move. Across the five, power and working, working down to about the two-yard line, Mitt. That time, Caleb Easley showed some power that time, going right down the middle and taking a couple of practical players with him and taking it just shy of the goal line down to the one. We're going to have second, second and one, second goal at about the one and a half. 
We're going to let Easley try that again, and Easley powers through. Touchdown, Cougars. Well, I'll tell you what, Mitt, any question about whether the Cougars were inspired or ready to play was answered on that first drive. You're right. They put together an 80-yard drive with 8.42 left in the opening period. That first drive of the night, and they take it in from a one-yard out easily for the touchdown. Yeah, good stuff there, Mitt. Boy, I, I really enjoy watching that kind of uh, good mix play selection. Um, you know, a couple of reverses in there, and... Uh, Shira for the kick. They're going to fake it. Look at this. Pitch to Shira. He's going to go for the corner. Ooh. And he's going to be stopped short. I'm so. just going to be quite frankly very close, but Kendrick Beasley, the senior defensive back, just had too much of an angle on him. Yet. So the two-point conversion fails. So but I like goes up 6-0. I like to think it, though. Hey, why not, right? See if you can catch him off guard. We saw what happened last week. Right. And uh, if you saw what happened last week, uh, you know, they came out last week, and the uh, first thing they did right out of the blocks, Fairhope, was onside kick it, you know. And uh, I think the Cougars said, you know what, let's go out here. We practice a lot of these things all year. Let's run them. But that was all set up by a first down play, uh, a handoff. Well, it was a reverse, a reverse to, to Keandre Martin for 46 yards that set up. Yeah. Northview in a position to score, so it gave them excellent field position, and they were able to take it in from one yard out for the touchdown. Can't say enough about that offensive line tonight. You got James Tillman, Jeremiah Reeves, Matt Steffen, Chris Cooper, uh, Sedaris Russell. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll look back and catch a couple other guys, but you know, nice job of blocking and protection on that time. Mid had all he had time to throw the ball. He, they had holes for running, and. Uh, I, uh, I'm watching uh, Coach D Dr. down there, really uh, high-fiving and almost chest bumping him. Nice kick back to the back, back pedal inside the two. Oh, come on, guy! Oh, you know what? I, nice play. Uh, Cougars' original first man to get to him was uh, number 90. Uh, matter of fact, Jordan Carter. Uh, and, and anyway, nice coverage on that uh, play. Going to have them starting off at about their uh, own 24-yard line. So pretty good coverage. They could have dropped him for a loss, but uh, Likes was able to get away and pick up some extra yards. So it will be first and 10 for Prattville. We'll take it based on some of those things from last week. Man, let's just stop him and let's see. Let's see what the Cougar defense has got from coming out with a 3-4. Prattville immediately going to be some read plays, and I think we're going to see a lot of that tonight. Uh, Walter Steele, uh, excuse me, uh, Kalen Whitlow in at quarterback. The 10th grader, 5'11", uh, 170. Uh, yeah, Jimbo, the yellow highlights or the red highlights or defensive players. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> they have right. a lot of players with the same numbers. Yeah, so we yeah, have and, that, and that's a problem we want to get to here in Dothan, both with the Tigers and for the Cougars. There's so many people, we got to have dual numbers. All right, but he's dropped back. And it's intercepted. Oh, Marquez White. Marquez White, touchdown, Cougars. Let me tell you something. He read that like a nursery book. Read it fast, read it quick, and read it right. Wow. How about that? Boy, I'll tell you what. That was a great play, Mitt. I, I tell you what, 27-yard interception by Marquez White for the touchdown. You know, that reminds that's like back in the old days. Hey, we intercepted a telegram from the enemy. Well, let me tell you something. He intercepted that one, Mitt, and there was nothing. It was I, the only thing I was been concerned about was he was so he, he read it so well. Make sure he had his hands on the ball, but that's why he's going to Florida State, Mitt. Nice great, play. A great play that time by White. Interception for a touchdown from 27 yards out. So the Cougars are right back. Have scored two scores in less than a minute, Jimbo. I and love it. This time they kicked extra point, and the Cougars score up 13 nothing. And you, you know what, man? When you when you travel, when your team, when you when you got a historical team, powerhouse team like Pratt, well, now it's very early. But you come in, you start off that way. Boy, I, I'd sure like to keep, let's see us hit them in the mouth a couple more times. Right. So in less than a minute, Northview puts up 13 points. They scored their first touchdown with 8.42 left, and we're down to 7.59. Well, I actually took them 43 seconds. Between, they scored twice yeah, in 43 there, seconds. There we go. All right. So, well, great play. Great defensive play. Great read by... Marquez White, or as my daughter always corrects me, it's Marquez, Daddy. Marquez. So Marquez. So I apologize to Marquez and the whole White family. But uh, nonetheless, anyway, here's what I'll say. Pick six. Glad to see it, particularly for the senior. So Northview takes an early lead. Back deep for 
The Lions is number four, Anthony Likes. And number eight, I think it's Stoudemire. Can't quite see his number. Good kick. And that's Likes another backpedaling, another backpedaling play. And, and so, oh, come on, guys, fill the gap. All right, good play there. Good play. I, I'm going to give some uh, – Give a shout out to one of the defenders there for the Cougars here, number uh, 21, Maurice Fluellen, did a nice job. He was, as they say, one of the last men standing there. He found a little crease to work it up, but no problem. Here's what, you know, Cougars just don't want to give up a big play. That's the main thing. Right, so uh, Prattville will be starting this time on the 35. They started last drive on the 24-yard line and turned it over to the Tigers. Interception for a touchdown there we by go. White. And first thing they're going to do is a handoff, and boy, there is a host of Cougars there. Quite frankly, Mitt, I think I'm going to say that he, he, he may have gotten to the line of scrimmage, may have lost about six inches there. That was Stanley Mays. He's a 5'8", 180-pound running back. He's a senior. So, uh, well. Yeah, Grayson Medford, Malcolm in on that play. He got about a yard on the play, and a Pratt, half yard. Pratt was going to run trips out here to the right side. Looked like we had not quite got it. There we go. Let's just make sure we got him covered, guys. He's going to back. Going to run an option this side. Reed, um, all right, nice tackle. Stephen Spivey shot through there and was able to uh, trip him up. Nice play by Stephen Spivey, the senior, 5'10", 210 pound fire plug. Played plugs up that middle very well. So to bring up a third and five for the Lions, we have the Lions and the Cougars tonight. That's right, Lions and Cougars. Lions and Tigers and Bear, oh my. And, right. and uh, one uh, ironic thing here, Coach Stewart used to be one of the coaches That's at right. Now he's Oh! That time. <laughs> Let me tell you, a little misread in the backfield, and uh, you saw what I saw, Mitt, was uh, number 27, uh, he Clayton was, Strong. Yeah, he was open. Now, I'll get, I know how he got out. He's 5'5", five, five, weighed 168. So uh, I know how he snuck out there, Mitt. But... Uh, Good thing is the Cougars got a chance to, to re, got a redo for that one, bit. So it's going to be a fourth down, so Prattville will have to punt back D for the Cougars as Marquez White. Yep. All right, I like what I'm seeing. Okay, a little short. Get on it. Yeah, it, That was it, good. Yeah, it hit the Northview player, so. Yeah, Northview covered it. Now let's see if there's something that changes in the pile. So the ball stays with Northview. What the ball hit the uh, yeah. defender in the back, and, and they kind of hesitated. Anytime that happens, you need to jump right on the well, ball. You know, it's always a problem on those short kicks, Mitt. And the good thing is the young fellow that it hit, the young gentleman number uh, 48, who, uh, interesting enough, Mitt, we don't have a – let's see if something's changed. We don't have a number on him. Or we got a number on him. We don't have a name on him. He must be a uh, – we got an add-on for 48 for the Cougars. For the Cougars, no, I don't. All right. Well, we're going – the good thing is the young man made a heads-up play. So we're going to go trips right here to the far side. Harris back, look, fakes the option. He's got a man open already too, Mitt. Yeah, he had two receivers on one side over there, yeah. and uh, one of them was number one, Barner. And I didn't get the number on the second one, but uh, uh, let's it, was, see. Was, it, was, it was Carmichael. It was Carmichael. What, yeah. what I think what the thing was was that we also had Adrian Brooks who looked open down the middle. It kind of had two receivers a little closer than I think maybe that plan was, but that's okay. Cougar's going to stretch the field early, and early on it showed them breaking up, breaking up, and allowing that uh, running game to open up. So we're going to run trips right over here. Pratt was having to respect it and doing some running. Let's see what uh, Harris has up his sleeve. Wouldn't be surprised to see Ely easily take a run at the ball. Ah, ran out of time, Mitt. Yeah. So, Northfield's going to be called for delay of game. So, we'll make it second and 15 for the Cougars. All right, trips to the far side again. Easily going to stay in the backfield with Harris. And the big man, uh, Mr. Pittman over here to the left side. Looking, looking. Got plenty of time. Crossing pattern over to Barner. But a nice defensive play there by uh, Prattville after a uh, short gain of about three bit. Yeah, that time uh, it was defended very well by the, the Lions of Prattville. So it's going to bring up third and about 13 for the Cougars. 
not what you'd call your optimal third down position. But you know what? Cougars got the skill set and the players to make that happen. Martin's going to bring a play in and come out to the far side. Uh, they're getting a call. Let's see what they're up to. Kind of got this little stack look here, Mitt. This will be interesting. Uh, they, got kind of a strong side get, stack. Yeah, they get tight on time again. Yeah. And Boy, he's gonna, they, uh, look at that Barner on a little wheel coming out. Oh, uh, they didn't make it, did he? Nope. Either somebody may have moved. I'm not sure if we had them lined up right, Mitt. Let's see what we get. I don't think they had him covered up right. Let's see. Legal. Okay. It, it was a formation. Evidently, we don't have a ref mic tonight, Jimbo. I, uh, he's I haven't heard anything from him so far. So I don't know if it's not working or, or right. even if he's wearing one. So, so third in a pile. Yeah, so with 5.31 left in the opening quarter, the score is Northview 13, Prattville nothing. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Okay, we're back after the timeout uh, by Northview. They had two missed cues on this uh, drive. They had uh, a delay of game yep. and a, a procedure call against them. And a couple of penalties, but, uh, you know, let's see. What we won't want to do is do anything... Uh, we don't want to make a, you know, we want to execute here, and if something's there, let's hit it. If not, let's go, and then let's see what's what. Harris has got a double twins. He drops back, looks, looks, looks. Four-man rush. He still had a good bit of time. All right, he's going to Martin. Oh, Ooh, wow. A good defensive play that time again, and that was, uh, was that number two again? That looks, yeah, that's who that was. Would have been uh, that Walter Steele again, looks like, Mitt, from what I can see. Yeah, it was number two for Prattville. Uh, Kalen, uh, no, that was uh, Walter Steele. You were exactly right. So he's made a couple of big plays. A couple of plays, and Martin got his hands on the ball. So, uh, you know, did get his hands on it, but just a nice heads-up defensive play. So Cougars obviously got to come out here and punt. Would not be surprised to see Prattville try to put some pressure on him. You know, at the same time, listen, you got a guy back here, uh, number 11. 11, yeah. Cameron Woods is, is uh, who I believe that is. Actually, they're going to have two guys back. Uh, obviously, Woods be, and uh, you know we don't know. Likes. That. Is it likes? We'll just say it's likes. I'm with. No, you. not likes. Uh, yeah, likes. likes. He's he's run back a couple. All right, let's see what we got here. And they're going to work on the return. And and there you go. That hey, I'm all about that. Oh, got a bounce right to him. All right, got a little hold there. They didn't call that one. Got a block in the back. Oh, nice tackle. And a flag. And, I'm and, not and, sure what it's going to be. Uh, it's, 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 uh, that's all right. Number 58 is how kind of who came in and just cleaned the clock and finished up. That's Satchel Foster, uh, 6'1", 235. That's why that fella knows it. I th let's see. I think we're going to have a penalty. I, you know, my opinion is it was on Prattville, but who says? I might be biased. Blocking yeah. the back, yeah, against Prattville. So it will uh, back them up. And it will, should put them on their side of the field. Absolutely. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team during the run back. The penalty will be enforced from the end of the run, 10 yards. First and 10 wide. Be first and 10. So there's our ref mic. He's there got it go. on now. So. All right. All's right in the world. The ref mic's working. <laughs> All right, let's watch Pratt. Well, they're going to run. Uh, he's going to run a backfield. They're going to run twin backs in the backfield. Two men split out to the near side here, Mitt. Let's see what he comes up with. A uh, little read play. He's going to hand off to number 20. Ah, you know what, Mitt? Broke a couple of tackles there. They had him hemmed up, but Stanley Mays, the 5'8", uh, 180 running back from Prattville uh, really broke two tackles. They had it read well. They just didn't tackle their men. Yeah, that was a good run by Mays. He moved the ball across the 50 down to just shy of the 40-yard line. It's the first 10 for the Lions of Prattville. All right, Twins this side. Still a, uh, full uh, a, a two men in the back with him. Let's see what we got. Same read play again, but he's going to give it off this time. He's going to give this off to Cameron Petway. Petway's a guy that gets the press, 6'2", 215. I, I would be surprised that they don't try to run him more, Mitt, before this night's over. Good running back. So it's going to bring up second and about a yard for Prattville. This drive started on their own 43. They moved it down to the 31 of Northview. Yeah, Mays and Petway are the guys they like to see it. He's back. He's looking. He's looking. He's going deep, Mitt. Nobody's there. 
No, uh, nobody was home that time. That's right. That's right. Cougars, Except for the official in, in the end zone. That's right. Cougars had uh, had nice coverage, and uh, what we did see is that uh, uh, Kalen Whitlow can throw the ball. So, you know, that was a, that was about a forty yard in the air play. Let's let's see what's next on on third and about a yard, Mitt. Good good second a yard is a good time to go for it, especially when you got a maze and a petway in the backfield with you. And I would consider this four down territory too. All right. Looks like he's got a little audible here. Play clock under seven. He's going to give it off to the big guy. Hey, let me tell you, he All got right. it. Let me, but that'll show you something. He got it on second effort, Mitt. They had him stop behind the line, but Petway again at six two two fifteen, and usually by this time of year they weigh a little more than that. It's a good run. Yeah, it was that time. Uh, it looked like the Cougars were, were going to stop him for a loss, but he just used his power and persistence and second effort to move the ball across the 30, inside the 30 for a first down. And, and if I am Prattville, I would expect, I would. I mean, if I'm the Cougars, I would expect to run over that, quite yeah. frankly, this early in the game. It's kind of like body blows in the first round of a fight. Right. You're not going to usually take a guy out. You're working on something for later. So a gain of about three, about, about four, so it brings up second and six. All right. Got them packed in. Twins to our side. Going to send Mays in motion. Going to be a little read option. Uh-oh, they let him loose, Mitt. But right. he's going to be stopped short of the goal line, taken yeah. down at about the 10, and I believe that was um, – A.J. Williams coming across over there to kind of corral him down there, Mitt. Right. He had a lot of running room that time, Jimbo, but uh, Williams saved the touchdown. It's going to be important for the Cougars here to play some defense because – you know, nobody expected 13 points was going to hold either one of these teams at bay tonight. All right, it's going to run it back to Mays again. Uh, got a, yeah, got, got a, a flag. It's going to be a touchdown. The bad thing is going to have a flag to go with it. Maybe assessed on the uh, kickoff miss. So it was uh, from nine yards out, nine-yard run by Mays. Ball carrier number 20, Stanley Mays. Let's see what the call is. The penalty. The results of the play were a touchdown. During the play, we had a personal foul, face mask, defense. Prattville has chosen to have that administered on the kickoff, 15 yards. So Prattville scores with 3-12 left in the opening period. So it's a 13 to six game. Extra point up and it's good. So it's a 13 to seven Northview lead as Bradville puts together a drive which started at their own 43 yard line. and Takes it down all the way into the end zone on a nine yard run by May. So. The score is Northview 13, Prattville 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Kickoff, and the Cougars take the ball at the 12-yard line, and they're going to be starting deep in their own territory. And, and you know, the Cougars' last possession, they made a couple of miscues and wound up giving uh, Prattville a pretty good field position. And uh, even though Prattville... Uh, it's called for a penalty that moved the ball back to their 43-yard line. It was a, a shorter field for them. Well, and, and you know, Mitt, that's, that's right. What they're going to have to do is uh, come out, and uh, Cougars need to come out, and that's the deal. They, they showed on that first drive they could move the ball. They just need to do it. But you're not going to do that if you make two penalties each drive. That's not going to happen. So let's see what the Cougars got in score this time, Mitt. Yeah, so the Cougars will be starting at their own 14-yard line. Harris got easy behind him, and uh, he's going to run a little power play over this side. Not a lot of room up there. Man, easily had a tough time getting back to the line of scrimmage, Mitt. Yeah, nothing there that time, so it's going to bring up second and 10 for the Cougars. The Cougars scored early in the game on their first drive of the game on a one-yard run by Easley, and... Uh, on Prattville's next possession, they intercepted a pass for a touchdown. Kind of a unique deal here. Let's see how this works, Mitt. 
They, that's a nice run by Easley. They've brought in, looks like the Cougars have brought in number, or not looks like they have, brought in number 55, James Tillman, offensive lineman, 6'1", 270. Got him kind of lined up like an H-back. You see where they've got him set up? So they're doing a little power play and having Easley try to follow that hole to see what they can do. And, and you know what? He picks up a first uh, down. It looks like he's got a first down. I, I think I'd run that play uh, five yards a clip. We're at the 25. Do the quick math, Mitt. Yeah, yeah, because they were just shy. Uh, they were at the 14. Let's run him 15 more times. Should be a touchdown five <laughs> yards a clip. It took me a little while to get my math going there, Mitt. Hey, okay, you know. It's been a long but day you got on it. Friday. That's yeah. right. And uh, unfortunately, this is our last game of the season. I know Paul. it, and I'm just starting to get it. Well, you know, the Cougars keep playing better, and I've always said they're going to upgrade the coverage a bit. But here we go. We're going to run easily one more time up the middle for about a yard and a half. Tough yards. Yeah, really tough yards. That time, Pratt will do a good job of plugging the hole and not giving up much there. He picked up probably uh, a yard or so. So the Cougars have gone into more of a hear up offense here, uh, Jimbo, here the last, the closing minutes of the first quarter. Well, I can appreciate him saying, hey, we don't want to do a three and out, or, or we want to have our defense a chance to rest. So let's see what we do here. They're going to run that power play to the other side again. And, and there you go, Harris setting it up. He's got Carmichael streaking. Oh, and might we have, have a play. A, might have a little, uh, might have a little defensive holding there, Mitt. Let's see what the call is. That pass was intended for number nine, Adrian Brooks. And we have a flag, and we'll see what the call is. It was thrown in the vicinity of the uh, receiver. Looked like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, oh, they, they may call offensive. I can't imagine. I, I see one of the uh, prepo. Well, he's clapping, clapping. But, but they are talking to the Cougars. There are two fouls on the play. An eligible receiver downfield, offense, holding, defense. Those penalties offset the peak second down. Well, I was half right, Mitt. <laughs> didn't see the ineligible receiver, but I definitely did see uh, see the hold. So, and guess what? I saw the one that was on Pratt. Well, I didn't see anything on Northview. Go figure. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see what the Cougars come out and do. They're going to come back to a uh, more traditional set here. They did have Roe McMahon, the 10th ten, grader, in play in line when they moved uh, uh, Tillman back there. But anyway, we're going to be back to twins each side and easily back there with Harris. So let's see what's what. Going to bring him in motion. Going to hand it off. Double reverse. Nice block by Harris. But you know what? I'll give Prattville credit. They stayed at home and read it well, Mitt. At time, it didn't work. The, uh, it reverse. took a little bit of time to develop. Uh, but, I, you know, double reverse. Uh, but you, know, you, got, you know, from up here, if he'd have faked the double reverse, I think he would have gotten more yeah, yards. But yeah. it's easy for us to say up here. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I like saying it when they're setting up for the next play, what should have happened. I'm with you, Mitt. I'm with you. Well, here we are again, Mitt. Third and about 18 to go, uh, deep in our own territory. We do need to get some positive yards out of this. Uh, first down's fine. Um, and we got the tools to do it with. We're going to go trips to the far side. Going to bring Brooks in motion. Harris fakes that little lacrosse. Looks, looks, looks. He's got a lot of running room, Mitt. Matter of fact, he's got enough for a first down at four. He crosses midfield, Mitt. There he goes. He puts some good moves. <coughs> Harris out at the 20. Let me tell you the great move. Did you see Harris? He moved the ball to his outside arm as he was coming down. Number four. Uh, Kendrick Beasley for Prattville was the only man left down here. And at about the 35, Harris saw that move to the left arm. So, And that he, he ran from the 15 down to the 20, Jim Bowles. So. Yeah, I, yeah, forget my five-yard play. Let's run that one again, Mitt. Great run that time by Harris. He looked like he was going to pass it. He saw some open territory in the yeah. middle, and he just took off, and he almost took it all the way. And, you know, one of the things was those receivers were working downfield and had the coverage. So by the time he stepped up, nothing there. Going to give it to Brooks again, coming across the right side. Nothing there. Good read by the uh, Prattville defense. Yeah, that time Brooks was going to the outside. He decided to cut back to the inside, and there was nothing there but Prattville Lions. Yeah, Ronnie Slate, 6 one, two and a quarter for Prattville. Um, you know what? Early on, what it tells me, we're going to have it end of the quarter, Mitt. I guess I'll stop talking. Wow. So we've come to the end of one, and the score is Northview 13, Prattville 7. We'll be back with second quarter action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.
Hello and welcome back to Ripu Stadium. We're at Knowledge of Field tonight. Bring you the game between the Prattville Lions and the Northview Cougars. I'm Mick Kirk along with Jimbo Lofton and the Cougars. He's going to go deep again to Marquez White. Touchdown, Marquez! Flag after the play, Mitt. Uh, but let me tell you something. Marquez White uh, with a nice play. They ran the fade route. He was the only one. Let's see what the call is. I know there was some hand pushing on. Let's see what we got. They are not, surely they're not going to call offensive. I'm afraid they are. Well, I don't know. They're no, they're talking, talking to, to Yeah, they're talking yeah. to North you. It's a touchdown. Here we go. It's a touchdown. During the play, there was pass interference, defense. That 15-yard penalty will be administered on the kickoff. There you go. There's a turnabout, turnabout, so to speak, is fair play. So. Uh, White caught that one, right? Absolutely. So that's his, he's got one on offense and one on defense tonight. There you go. Heck of a way to uh, wrap up a uh, wrap up a good senior career and head off to Division One. Zach Shira, uh, very reliable in there. The kick is good. The ball. So Northview puts together a, that drive started on their own 14 yard line. Yeah, and boy, we'll so that was an 86-yard drive with a with a nice chunk of it by a heads-up play by Jalen Harris, realizing he had nothing and let those guys work their way down the field. And when he did, boy, he just had lots open. This time of year, it's not green space anymore; it's kind of brown space out there, Mitt. But uh, it is what it is, and there we go, 20 to seven. Right, and that, that was a great drive, a 65-yard run by Harris, and it was capped off with a 20-yard pass from Harris to White for the touchdown to put Northview up 20-7. to seven. And, uh, of course, with the uh, with the penalty mitt, uh, Cougars are going to get a kickoff from the line at 45. Now, what we saw Prattle do last time, which I like that play, was kick it high and short and get down, and, of course, Cougars started again at their 14 based on that. Let's see what the Cougars do. They're not beyond, hey, again, it's tonight. Last game of the year, just like you said, don't hold anything back. I think that's from the water boy, wouldn't it, Mitt? I, I think it was. I think now the Cougars got to do a, a better job on punt coverage, kickoff coverage, because yeah. they've allowed them to, to – they've kicked the ball well, but the coverage hasn't been – what it needs to be, but it's into the end zone this time. And, and that's what I'd do. Why not? Just go ahead and say, let's don't risk anything, and let's just, you know, go ahead and kick it off, let them start at the 20. So, Prattville will be starting at their own 20-yard line, and Northview uh, puts together an 84-yard, 86-yard uh, drive for the touchdown. All right. Mitt, we've got a... Uh, we got an entrance in here we'll talk about in a minute, a special guest in the press box. So let's see what uh, Kalen Whitlow, the quarterback for Prattville, has got up his sleeve. Coming out here 20 to 7. Uh, got his twins out to the far side. He's got a good pair of running backs, and I think that's what we're going to see. Mays, nice pursuit there. That was, uh, matter of fact, I'll tell you who that was. That was Spivey. Spivey cutting through there to make a tackle. And we've got a uh, flag. We got a how we get since it gets Prattville. I don't. I think we may have a hold there. One of those linemen got out and held on the uh, linebacker. Let's see what we got. All right, while they're talking about it, Mitt. Uh, Let's see what the call is here. All right. Holy. Offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat, first down. Yeah, that'll make that a first and 20. First down and 20 for the Lions. So it'll be first and 20, and uh, we have Jim Boone in the booth with us. It's good to have you here tonight, Jim. Yeah, good evening, guys. How are y'all tonight? Cougars are playing well here at uh, Rip Hughes Stadium tonight. Uh, they have. They have started off with, uh, you know, just the way any team wants to start off. They said they wanted the ball. Uh, Prattville wanted to defer. Prattville may be thinking about that right now. Cougar, Cougar offense has looked pretty good on two of the three drives, and nice defensive play by Marquez White took care of that. But let's see what uh, Prattville's got. Good ball club. Let's, let's watch what they've got. 
Whitlow's back looking, 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 and uh, nothing there. So uh, we like that. Yeah, that pass was intended for number uh, 20, Stanley Mays, and it was incomplete. So it will bring up a third. It was second and 20. Boone, how come you're not out there eating a corn dog right now? And I put the corn dog off for uh, a night or so. Anyway, I want to come see these Cougars I, I play. Don't, uh, I don't blame you. I haven't been able to see the Cougars play all season. And uh, I'm going to see what Marquise is doing tonight. He's playing, having a really good ball game interception down here. And a good touchdown at the other end of the field. Absolutely. Yep, he's, he's, showing, why, he's showing why everybody was looking for him. Interesting. I guess we had movement there is what I'm going to guess, Mitt, from where that flag came in. Yeah, I think so. Now, Jim Boone, uh, you probably hear his voice on the broadcast a lot. He's the voice of uh, the Houston Academy Raiders. False start. Offense. And the Raiders uh, will be traveling next week up to over to Washington County. Uh, so I wish we were staying home playing American Mobile Christian like yeah. Providence is doing, but we just could not put it all together last Friday night. So we'll be traveling over to Washington County, which is number one, number uh, three in the state, I yeah, believe. Yeah, it's always tough sledding over in that part of the Woo! state, as, as Houston Academy knows from, from multiple years of playing. You know, Leroy's always been the power over there, but Leroy, uh, I believe, won one game all season. Really? And, uh, it's very hard to believe where they ended up, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's a tough region over there. It, with it is tough. Um, that's where those guys come out from from running pulpwood and then come play ball at night. And oh. another flag. I think it's probably going to be I, a delay let, of let game. Let me tell you something. I, right now, I, I'm not really sure, but Prattville is in the uh, delay of game. Yeah. Offense. After distance to the goal. Still second down. Second and three zip codes away right now, Mitt. It looks like we've got. It's going to be right here. It's going to be second. You've got to be a little careful here. Now, again, two quality running backs. Uh, they're going to bring bringing Mays out of the game. Yeah, he's going over to the sideline. Uh, All right. And but, you, but you got, you got they've got a pretty tall uh, wide receiver over there on the right-hand side. Uh, yeah, I thought it was Manute Bowl out there for a minute, <laughs> Mitt. So he's tall. What they may try to do is, is get something up high to him. Well, they got trips over here out to the far side, so – I would. He's got to have something across the middle, and you know you got to be careful back here with the uh, at the two yard line, third and third and a couple of zip codes away to do it. I mean that's you got to be careful to hold or or, or just a, a you know a guy slicing through. Prattville's got to get the ball out to the thirty yard line. They it's, Northview um, put it in the end zone, and the ball was brought out to the twenty. And a couple of penalties later, they on the. Two yard line. Yeah, third and third and twenty eight. You know, you gotta watch out here for them. You know, a similar play as we saw earlier with Jalen Harris is getting these receivers to I don't think I think the Cougars getting a little better penetration than that. I don't think he's gonna have that much time. And there he goes. And it's incomplete. There we go. All right, that's what we like to see. Well, Jim, you know, uh, not only are we seeing some good ball tonight, but you you're mentioning that Washington County, that's over in the uh, Camden. Is that the Camden area, Monroeville, Camden? Area? Uh, well, yeah, it's or, uh, actually or, or just right north Mississippi? of Mobile. Okay. It, I mean, you throw a rock from the stadium in Washington County, hit Mississippi. So okay, there you, you take go. 84, and as far as you can go, you're going to end up, you're going to see the stadium over there. We've gotcha. been over there, like I say, many times. Jim, I was looking here at the stat, I mean, the, the standings. Sweetwater is number three. They're in that region. Okay. Uh, Washington County is number five. And Mobile Christian is number nine. So three of their well, I guess and, it. And hold on. Let's watch Marquez. Let's see what he's got. Uh, smart play. Going to run it down to the 25. A line drive to Marquez White is not what you want to do. But anyway, back back to that, Jim. Anyway, those three teams in that region uh, in the top, uh, top three of those in the top ten uh, in region and, and class 2A ball. And G.W. Long is going around here. And right. G.W. Long is number six. I hope G.W. Long goes a long way. They're playing. Uh, the number four out of that region, number three, uh, four out of that region. So, well, you know, we talked to, uh, on a different note tonight that first time since '99, Prattville will not make the playoffs. Three of the teams they lost to are seven and two. Yeah. So some good quality ball clubs. Um, you know, I guess you'd say maybe a little bit of a rebuild here for Prattville based on what we're seeing. Here go the here go the Cougars, double reverse, and if he could just get it away, if Carmichael could he does. Away, he had Jalen Harris open. Now I got to tell you. 
I know what the design of that play was. was a, was a re double reverse, throw it to Jalen Harris, and J Harris was open, but Carmichael was running for his life for a minute. Well, I'll tell you what, he turned what could have been a 10 of 15 yard loss into about a seven yard gain. Yeah, it was a good play by Carmichael. It was good to see that. And, and I like seeing that the uh, Cougars to keep them off balance here and, you know, score some points because we know this Prattville team can score some points. All right, second down, we're going to have trips out to the far side mitt, and we're going to have uh, our own vision of a version of Manute over here on the right with Lopez Pittman and easily running hard. And he takes it inside the 15 down to about the 14. It'll be third and short, third and about a yard mitt, maybe a little less than a yard. Yeah, they've got to get it down to uh, near the 13 for a first down. Harris with easily in the backfield. Got his trips on out to the far side. Going to get a change of play here as the play clock drops under 10. Harris with audible. Under five, no problem. They're used to this. Going to get it off. Harris, I like the idea. Just, just keep it in his hands. Harris has uh, got enough speed to get the first down, almost down to the 10-yard line, Mitt. That time, Harris did a good job of getting to the outside and picking up that first down so the Cougars have first and uh, they're going to have a first and 10 because the ball looked like it's, well, I think they're going to spot it. They may have spot it right outside the 10. 10 they may yes. be uh, we, we're not going to fool around with that, Mitt. We're going to score within four. Score within four. All right, and he finds, oh, my uh, goodness. Barner couldn't have been any more open. Wow. But anyway, just a little behind him. Yeah, I bet he would like to have that one back. Yeah, he would. <laughs> he Barner, was, was, Barner was wide open. You know, I like Harris's speed. I see here he's 6'1", yeah. 185. Got a lot of speed. Got a good arm, too. Mm -hmm. he, he's done a nice job for the Cougars at uh, quarterback. Going to run trips here to the near side. Going to keep easily in the backfield with him. He's going to give it to Easley. Let's, and Easley's got a – wow. Uh, well, they closed the hole pretty quick. They did. He picked up a couple of yards on that play, so it's going to bring up third and about eight. Jim, what do you see over there? You were talking about uh, Washington County over there. What, what do you know about that team over there, other than they're obviously good? Don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, they uh, – I hadn't seen any film on them, Jimbo. I, okay. I, uh, we know they're good. We know they're uh, every score I've seen is very high, so they've got an explosive offensive team from what I understand. All right. Harris rolling out, looking, looking, looking. He's going to outrun that man. He found him. Oh. And touchdown, but let's. i got to believe we may have a hold here from where that ball, where that flag came from, either one of two things, either legal, legal man got downfield or we got a hold. Well, well yep, you called it. Yeah. Illegal. You know, when you go that long, they start thinking about blocking, don't they, Jim? They do. But a good play. It was. Uh, a good a throw good again by Harris. I yeah. mean, they hit the guy in the corner of the end zone over there. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense. Five yards from the previous spot. Repeat third down. Yeah, you're talking about Pratt. Well, look at, look yeah. at the region they're in. <laughs> yes. Good. Uh, have y'all talked about that tonight? Yeah, that's or? what we said. Don't, don't, let, don't let a 4-4 four and four team fool you. They have lost to some powerhouses this uh, year. Kidding. You know, I was – I was hoping maybe there would be a miscue on Pratt. Well, they'd decline it, but we weren't so lucky where we met. <laughs> no, not so lucky. So it brings up a third and about 12 or 13. All right, Cougar's going to go back to trips to the far side again, Mitt. Let's see what Harris has up his sleeve as the clock goes under five. Looks, looks, he better move. Well, and that, hey, look at that. Now that's, just, oh, I believe they're going to say his arm was moving forward. Oh, yeah. So that's it. It was. It was incomplete. So yeah. the Cougars. It's going to bring up a fourth down. This drive started on their own, uh, on the prep for twenty-three. So they had excellent starting field position, and they just weren't able to take advantage of it. But they had a touchdown call back because of an eligible man downfield. Yeah, and you know one of the things, man. If I'm Prattville, I, you got to step back and start saying, "All right, look, what we need to do with Harris." Of course, Harris's arm has shown to be. He's been very accurate tonight, but. Yeah. They may look at saying we can't let him get out of the box either, and it looks like that time they had a couple of guys off the corners. All right, Zach Shire from 30.5 yards out. Just a little over a 30-yarder, and it should be, ooh, it should be good, and it is. 
And boy, the Cougars needed that after they went for two on that first down bit. They needed a little separation there. So now you're you're up at 23-17. You're up by 16. Two full scores and two uh, two point conversions up on uh, Prattville. And you need to keep putting distance between this team, Mitt. Yeah, Northview has come out, and basically they played a very solid game offensively and defensively. Yeah. They've got a touchdown on defense. Uh, White intercepted a pass from 27 yards out to take it in for the touchdown. And on the Cougars' drive, uh, White caught a touchdown pass in the end zone. It was a 20-yard pass from Harris to White for the touchdown and that kept off a 86 yard drive by the cougars so they've come out and show some balance here tonight absolutely looking good hey jim you were referencing that fill in our folks at home about the competition that uh right here with the prattles played well spain park is uh won that region and then you got pelham spain park ended up with a seven and two pelham was seven and two oak mountain ended up third seven and two and stan hope elmore seven and two and uh i tell you those are some tough teams right there and uh you know they're four and three in the region but four and four overall so um and i'm looking at the brackets too enterprise i guess y'all well know they got to go to two gilling all right. side kick by the oh. cougars and but uh well the ball is still moving around so. well they had a shot looked like two of the uh, lines got got kind of one guy had his hands on it but uh, I, i'm pretty sure it's gonna be line ball from what i saw from here mitt yeah, they tried to catch him off guard with an onside kick, and uh, it didn't work. So, Prattville will be getting the ball at the at their own 43-yard line. It'll be first and ten. All right, and Cougars have had some pretty good success on uh, on on defense. Well, let's see what he does. He's gonna and. and Kalen Whitlow, you know, just just runs that little little option read look. So a gain of about five on first down, sort of bring up second and five for the Lions. Corey Whitehurst in on the tackle for the Cougars, a 6'3", 215 senior. All right, twins to this side. Uh, Cougars going to basically run five men on the front. And, and that's what we had a problem with last week, Mitt. Got to make a tackle here. Whitlow running, running, good pursuit, running, okay. First down. Now, I'm going to just tell you, they don't have the same speed as uh, Nate Andrews from last week. They had seven touchdowns and 288. But uh, still, Cougars don't want to give up anything cheap here. Let's play some defense. That was a game probably of about 25 yards. So the ball is inside the 30 down at the 26-yard line of Northview. And I've been expecting uh, Pratt will actually to run the ball more and see, you know, he's got two good backs and, and should utilize that some. Let's see where they go. Of course, as soon as I say that, Whitlow back to pass, but he's going to throw it out over there to Petway. Petway, and you see what I'm talking about, wow. about good running backs. How about that work down inside the 10? Whoa. Touchdown, Prattle. 26-yard touchdown pass to wow. Petway. Yeah. Two big plays, and they're in the end zone. That's right. Boy, they're right back in the ball game. That's right. And, and you know, we, we, never had any, we never had any thoughts that uh, – this would be a runaway of, of any sorts, but I'll tell you what, when you see him come down and score in a couple of plays, that just wow. tells you how dangerous this team can be. Well, uh, well that onside kick maybe wasn't a very good. Well, yeah, we we, we, we shortened the field a little bit. Shortened it quite a bit for him. Yeah, so, you know, you take gambles like that. Sometimes you sure. win, sometimes you lose, and that time the Cougars lost. <laughs> just like Dan Fouts. Remember, last game of the year, don't want to hold anything back, Mitt. Right. right. Yeah, so... Prattville scores with 7-18 left in the first half. And, you know, we saw a team, We, you know, I've always kind of commented, why do they line up and run and do all that? We saw a team, Northview, run out of that pattern last week, remember? Right. They went ahead and ran for two and, and converted one. Extra point attempt. Austin McGinnis. Good. And just like that, 23-14, guys. So Northview leads 23 to 14 at the Prattville. Scores on a big run by a, a pass to Petway from 26 yards out for the touchdown. So with 7:18 left in the first half, the score is Northview 23, Prattville 14. So the Cougars need to watch for an onside kick, but they decide to 
kick it back. And Car Carmichael calls for the fair catch. And it's going to be down at the 17. Hey, I can't argue with what Pratt was doing. They're executing that well and getting it inside the 20. So, you know, if you could do that all night, hey, why wouldn't you do that? The Cougars last time had excellent starting field position on the prep of 23 and had to sell for a field goal after a penalty uh, negated a touchdown in the end zone. So they'll be starting deep in their own territory, but they put together an 86-yard drive earlier, uh, so it shouldn't be a big deal starting there. Well, what I like about it is, mid three of the four times Cougars had the ball, they've, they've put some points on the board. So let's see if we can uh, continue that. It's going to bring him in motion. Andre Martin going to cut it upside. Going to be up for about a six-yard gain, Mitt. That time, Martin did a good job of going through the hole and picking up some good positive yards. Picked up about six or seven on that play, and that's always a good play. A first down, you pick up five, six, seven. It's always a good call. Gives you good options on second down. It's a lot better than third and 18, isn't it, Mitt? A whole lot. <laughs> This guy from uh, Fairhope, the running back last week, uh, is anybody looking at him? Yeah, you know, he's an uh, old mid. Well, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. All right, Harris looks. He's going to run out, and he's going to cut it, uh, trying to read up. He's going to get about to the 25, and that's about all. Going to bring up a third and about two and a half. Yeah, uh, let me tell you about him. I, I thought it was interesting. We talked a little about this last week. They said, I asked one of the coaches, I said, all right, where is he going? This was at halftime when he had five touchdowns in a buck 88. Yeah. And he said, well, he's committed to Ole Miss. I didn't think he think much. Later on during the game, somebody said, well, FSU's looking at him. I said, well, that may answer why they're still playing him in the fourth quarter yeah. because of that. So he's obviously got options, but he has he – supposedly he's a verbal right now to Ole Miss. So we'll see. Nice play. Nice tackle out there. But you know what? First down, moving the chains. And uh, nice play to Martin over there. Nice little pass and uh, pick up the first down, Mitt. It was, and Martin was hit pretty hard, but he held on to the ball, and it's a first down for the Cougars. Yeah, nice play. Donta Trust, the senior defensive back uh, over there. Not a big guy at 5'7", but uh, he did put a good lick on him. So uh, the Cougars have first and 10, the ball at the 28. We're going to run trips here to the wide side, to the near side, wide side. And Harris going to keep the ball and pick a hole out and tough sledding there, nothing doing. You know, on that previous play, uh, if Harris had decided to keep it, he, he could have picked up a first mm -hmm. down too. But he decided to throw it over to Martin, and that was a smart thing to do. As, and they get the first down. So it's going to bring up second and nine for the Cougars. Yeah, we're just under the five-and-a-half-minute mark, Mitt, as we, uh, as we come up here on a second and nine. Double twins. Harris back, looking, looking. Been good good protection most all night. And, of course, as soon as I say that, Harris is under duress. He was outside. Yeah. The, the tackle. So. He was, but a nice, I got to give you, nice play, nice play by the, one of the first times Prattles made in there to put much pressure on him. You know, he's been able to scramble away from it the other couple of times they've done that. But uh, Hey, that was big. Yusuf Howard, 5'11", 272 pounds. Not taking that guy to the Waffle House with me, I can tell you that. But <laughs> it wouldn't be anything left for you. No, if, he, if, if I'm going with him, I'm telling him I'm getting there five minutes before he does an order. So it brings up a third and nine for the Cougars. All right, they've had some success. They've got, they've got in their playbook a, a reasonable chance at making this. And there you go, That's dump great. it out easily. If he can make the move, all right, good, good play by, good defensive play by Prattville. Fellow over there turned it back inside nicely, so it's going to be fourth and about two, and we're going to see the punting unit come on. Right, yeah, easily came up just a little short, so need, the need, Cougars will have to punt. Need some defense here, Mitt, because, you know, uh, Pratt will deferred, and what we definitely don't want, we know they're going to get the ball back right after the half, so we need to play some defense here, get the ball back and do something. We want to give them two back-to-back -back, uh, offensive opportunities here. I need to thought get that was a good play call by the, by I, the uh, I offensive did too. coordinator, though. Throw yeah. a little screen there, pick up that yardage. Go ahead, Ben. I was going to say, it's got to make sure they have good punt coverage. All right. And there we go. And it's going to be down the inside to 30 at about the 28. Yeah, nice punt by Zach Shiro. That was, that was a good play. Good punt. So the Cougars got to come out and play some defense and not give up a, a big play on this drive and try to go into the 
going to halftime with a, a lead. Yeah, with four and a quarter left, it, it, we really do need to need to stop here because, again, last thing you want to do is put these guys within strike and then let them pick the ball up right after the half. So we'll see what uh, Whitlow's got under his sleeve, and I think we're going to see some Petway. And, 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 you know, there we go. Boy, I'm glad they don't have tearaway jerseys, Mitt. Yeah. <laughs> I they, saw a helmet. Yeah, AJ, yeah, AJ Williams. He all he had on him was enough jersey to stay in tow with him. Medford helmet flew off, so he'll have to come out of the game for one play. You know, we'll comment. I and I guess that's a, supposed to be a safety factor of them allowing them to make sure their quote unquote their helmets on right now. I've never seen a, a riddle rep over there trying to make sure it works, but nonetheless, all right. And look at this again. Here's Petway. Wow. And he's going to be run down at the 30. Boy, Petway is starting to pick up some yards. Yeah, and we, we, you know, we knew that Petway and Mays were, were good running backs coming into this game, and, and right now Petway has, uh, has really shown that, and uh, we, we, we don't need that to, to be part of it. 6'2", 215, he's a good-sized fella, and only 11th grader, so we're going to see him. If we play him again next year, then we'll, uh, we'll see him again. All right. We're going to see, oh, he, boy, nice, nice play. Nice, good tackle. Good tackle by Steven Spivey, but a nice uh, nice fake in there. We sure were watching. We thought Mays was about to go with it, and, boy, uh, Whitlow pulled it out, right, and turned it up. That's that's the way it's drawn up. But that was a great play by the Northview defense because it looked like he was going to pick up, uh, possibly go in the end zone. All right. Those, and, and look at that. Nice play. That was a, uh, let's see who sliced in there. So, oh, Spivey, go figure, right? Yep. He's tough as nails, guys. He's made a couple of big that. plays. Yeah. Hey, the defense on uh, the Cougars all of a sudden woke up. Yeah, five t Spivey at 5'10", five, 5'10", five, five, and 2'10". Like he spends a little time in the weight room. He does, and, and, and I know his dad was in school with his dad, Norman, and uh, Norman used to like to move the iron, iron as well. Uh -huh. All right, going to go to Petway again, and the Cougars are all over him. I, you know, I like that effort, guys. I tell you what, the Cougars had a good – the last three downs were excellent defensive downs yeah. for the Cougars. After giving up a big play, they did what they needed to do. They just buckled down, and they stopped him. And this will be interesting here. I, I got to believe that they're going to go for it because, I, you know, unless they – well, they may – you know, Pratt will quite frankly may have a 45-yard kicker. And they also may have a fake in order here. Yeah, well, we, I, I will definitely be looking for a fake. Here. Austin McGinnis, the senior, going to try from going to set it up for forty-three. Very makeable. Yeah. Clock ran out. Well, let me tell you what. Not only makeable, that that. No that good. Let me no tell good. you though, that thing would have been good from fifty-three. What do you think, there, Jim? That that thing had plenty of boot on it, didn't it? So the Cougars come up big defensively. That was a big stop. That was a big stop, Mitt. And, it, and the second quarter, it seemed like all of a sudden Prattwell's offense just kicked in, but the Cougars got them down here on the, between the 30 and the 20 and stopped them right there. Like and I'll said. tell you this, Cougar, Cougars do have, and we've seen them what they play, they have the ability to run a, a legitimate two-minute offense here. So, so let's see what we come out with this time, Mitt. Um, <laughs> So Northview will be taken over at the 20-yard line. We'll give it to Easley. No, nothing happening over there. And, and you know, it would be interesting. Prattville's got all their timeouts. Let's see what they do. Cougars, Cougars quite frankly, may be, may be content. You know, they can run it down to about a, about a, about a buck 15 here. I think you'll see them use a lot of the clock here. Well, yeah. I think they will. They don't want to give Prattle the ball back with any time, but if you're Prattle, you got to be looking up going, you know what, I'm going to make you run a play after this one. Let me see if I can get the ball back with under a minute. All right, let's see. And there you go. Harris. Harris. Yeah, he picks up uh, a box. Let's, six let's, or seven. Let's see if Pratt will call. Yeah, they did. There you go. That's what we thought. Prattle with a timeout. So, with 107 left in the first half, uh, Jim Boone, uh, you want to update us, kind of give us some more information on the playoff pitcher? 
Well, I was just looking here, talking about 6A. You know, Enterprise came in fourth place in this region. They're going to go mcgill Tulin. That's going to be quite a battle. I think McGill is, uh, they're ranked way up there. I know they're they're 9-0 and for the season. I think they're ranked uh, pretty high. 9-0 <laughs> yeah. probably yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Blunt's going to go to Daphne, play in Daphne. They should do well the first round there. Fairhope goes to uh, Davison. And Baker goes to Foley. I mean, y'all in a tough region here yeah. in the 6A, yeah. I'm telling you. That's yeah. tough. But, but the Cougars have had a good season. The Cougars and the Tigers both, both. really competed yeah. in, in this new new region. Absolutely. And, and you know what? I, and the article that was in the paper was right. You know what? It's good to see Northview, Dothan, Providence, and Houston Academy all have mm. all have – at a minute, if Cougars win tonight, I'll have winning records. Absolutely. And you know what? That's what we need. We need that back and that kind of enthusiasm. And it's been a long time. Absolutely. All right, Harris, we're going to have a reverse. He's going to try to cut it inside. Nothing there. No, that, that, this reverse, it worked one time, but it hasn't worked since. No. Surprise, they didn't let Harris throw the ball. Right? Well, you got, that's... You, what, you got Carmichael and that other uh, yeah, you wide got, receiver. There. Yeah, Martin and, and, Martin, and all yeah. those guys. And, and here's the other thing. You know Prattle's going. Mean, why not? Why worry about? It? You know Prattle's going to call a timeout no matter what. Right. So with timeout on the field, 59 seconds left in the first half. Northview leads 23 to 14. So Northview will have to punt after they're stopped on fourth down. All right. Now I think we're going to see. There's no question. We're going to see Pratt will put on the return. That two deep men. Shira gets out. That's just fine. Maybe it'll hit number two in the back of the head. There we go. We'll take that every time. Look at that. Hey. Wow. Took a cougar grow. I have to admit I was a little tickled there watching uh, watching no, uh, number 23, uh, Josh Biggums, trying to get out of the way of the yeah. ball. You know, that, that was almost like the that was almost like a no see him or a nat, wasn't it, Jimmy? He just he <laughs> just was trying to get away from it and couldn't do it. All right, this is uh -oh. 15 yards from the previous spot. Wow. An automatic first down. Oh, the Cougars keep the ball. How about that? I didn't yes, even sir. see that flag. Wow. Wow, big a big penalty. Wow. Well, now, if, hey, now I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm if I'm Northview, I might try to go yard right here. 46 seconds left in the half. Absolutely. I might just say, you know what? And I'll tell you what else I might do. Of course, that's why I'm up here and he's there. I might try to find a way to put Marquez in there. A lot of discussion that he'll be a receiver at the next level. So let's see. All right. Harris back, looks, 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 rolls. He likes what he sees over here. Threw it low and away to Barner. He was covered up pretty well. Yeah, good and, coverage and, 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 by uh, number 11, Travis Johnson. And you see Pratt, well, they're smart. They're going to play those safeties about 20 yards deep. So they're not looking to let any of this uh, Cougar speed get out there. That's what I said. I'm not sure. Could you – do you have somewhere in your arsenal to bring Marquez in and trade him out for somebody somewhere and sneak him in and fly him down the middle? I don't know why not with his speed. I sure would have. That's him exactly. Him. I was going to say, put it up and let him run under it. All right. Harris looks, looks. They throw a blitz. Yeah, that's – that's pretty tough. And they have a, another timeout. Yeah, but here's the problem. If they use this timeout, uh, there's 26 seconds, so Cougars wouldn't have to do anything unless there was a penalty. You follow me? Yeah, yeah. So to bring third down. It just means you can't. Also, what it does mean, though, is you're not going to pass it on this down either. You know, you're not going to take a chance of that. That's good. That's that's a smart play by the coach over there at Prattville. That's that's smart. I'm out this half. Please reset the game clock to 29 seconds. Ooh, okay. Okay. But, but it won't be it won't, won't be a problem though, Mitt. You know, it's uh, they'll run a play, and then by the time they set, they won't have to run another. But that does mean you're going to have to run it. If you want to be tricky, run a draw. Yeah. And that ain't going to be that tricky because I'm sure what they're telling them is. Guys, they're probably not going to throw the ball here. You look out for the draw play or look for, you know, look for Harris. But you may sit in deep and then let Harris try to see if he can break something. The only concern I get is I don't know whether if Harris Harris was to break, would he be able to take it? They got some pretty good speed in DB. I don't know. It would 
it would take something unique for him to take it uh, 60, 65 yards. Well, we 75. saw him on the first play from scrimmage, uh, Northview first possession last week. Yeah. Uh, Harris threw an 80-yard pass to uh, Carmichael yeah. for the touchdown. So that's a possibility, but I think they'll just try yeah, and run would, the clock out. Yeah, that's what I, I, you know. But look who's in the game. Look who's in the game. Number two. Number two. And what they may have told Harris was, let's see if we can catch him on a fly pattern, and if you can catch him, great. If not, just take the sack. Don't worry about it, because you know time will, time will, you know time will fix itself here. All right. But looking for, oh, there we go. The speed sweep. Stay in bounds. Okay. Boy, he fumbled that ball. That could have been a disaster. Yeah. Like somebody fighting over a potato wow. golden corral. Yeah, yeah, it was. Whew. He he juggled that ball, but um, they're going to be able to yeah. run the clock out. Take it to the locker room. But I tell you what, if you're Northview or Northview fan, you got to be pretty excited right now. 23-14 at the half. I got no complaints, Mitt. Jim, what about you guys? I think the Cougars have really played well here the last ball game of the season, and. Uh, Tell you what, uh, they come back this second half. Uh, I think they can beat this prep bunch. I do too. Okay, so we're at halftime where the Norfolk Cougars are leading the Prattville Lions by a score of 23 to 14. We'll be back with halftime activities after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Hello and welcome back to Ripley Stadium. We're at Knowledge Field tonight where the Northfield Cougars are hosting the Prattville Lions. Hi, I'm Mick Kirk along with Jimbo Lawton and Jimbo North. You look pretty impressive that first half. You know what? I'll tell you what. The Cougars coming out after a tough game last week, last game of the season. Uh, but the coaches said they had a good week of practice, and I'm glad to see them come out. And they've looked good. They look very good and crisp on offense. They've scored on four different, uh, three different possessions. And then, of course, obviously the defensive pick six by Marquez White. But no question, the Cougars really want to end this season with a win, which would put them with a winning record, Mitt. So why don't you give us a little recap? Okay, the Cougars scored first with 8.42 left in the first quarter on a one-yard TD run by Easley, but that was set up by a 46-yard uh, run by Martin from scrimmage, and uh, the two-point conversion failed to make it 6 nothing Northview. Northview scored, uh, well, uh, let's see, Northview scored again after a 27-yard interception by Marquez White with 7.59 left in the first. And that only took 43 seconds. They scored two touchdowns in 43 seconds to make it 13 nothing. The point after was good. Uh, the next score came with 312 left in the, uh, let's see, left in the first on a nine-yard TD run by Mays to make it, uh, Prattville to make it 13 to seven. Northview scored again on a 20-yard TD pass from Harris to White. Uh, that capped off an 86-yard drive. That came with 11.52 left in the uh, second quarter to make it 20-7. to seven. Uh, Then uh, Shower hits a 30-yard field goal with 8.23 left to make it a 23-7 lead. But, uh, but Prattville came out on a 26-yard TD pass for, uh, to Petway with 7.18 left in the first half to make it a 23-14 lead for Northview, and that's where we're staying as we begin yep. the second half of action. And Seth Stam, the senior, uh, number 38, is going to be in here to kick off, and, uh, and he kicks it a nice little short kick, uh, going to be at about the 18, going to be picked up. Oh, uh-oh. All right, good play. And a flag. I think we got a uh, block in the back or hold whatever happened out here. And I think that's going to be a play back there with uh, look like somebody took Spivey down from behind. So let's see what this goes, what this comes as. Holding. There we go. Going to be holding on Prattville. That's a good way to negate a good return, isn't it, Mitt? It really is. And it's, it's good for us. Bad for Prattville. Good for uh, Northview. It should be a good 
Yes, that's a, we ought to make sure that's a spot of the foul. During the return, holding, receiving team, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, first and 10 white. All right, going to put it inside the 20 at about the 19, so makes me feel a little better about it. We need to see this Cougar defense come up and hold like they did earlier, Mitt, on that uh, last play of that last drive of the first half. If we could see something like that, then turn around and come on back, boy, I'd love to see us start that way. I tell you what, the Cougars made three great defensive plays in a row uh, to, to stop the drive by Prattville. All right, Trent Ogletree in at linebacker. And we're just going to see Mays try to break it outside. He's only going to pick up about three tough yards. And, and we said uh, Trent Ogletree comes in, the 11th grader. That's who makes the tackle, Trent Ogletree. That time the Cougars did a good job of not allowing, allowing him to get to the outside and stopping him after a short game. Absolutely. And uh, don't see, uh, trying to look, don't see Petway in there. See Mays is single back. They got trips out to the far wide side. And let's see what uh, what he's got. Going to run it like a little option play. Nice play over to Mays. Boy, that guy's got some speed, Mitt. Yes, he, he does. Mays turned on Stanley Mays. The senior uh, showed some burners there. Plenty of, plenty of yardage for a first down and more. So it will be a first and 10. The ball out at the 43. So that was a. Yeah, and we know that the Cougars had a tough time, you know, defending that last week, Mitt. They're going to run trips over the wide side this side. And I'm sure Pratt will uh, scout it. And there's Look Petway. Look at that film. Well, you can't arm tackle that guy, Mitt. And guess what? Dead gummit, he just broke Les. Marquez White going to push him out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Wow. You Pet know, Petway, a good, strong run. Uh, that was from about the 43 down inside the 10-yard line. And I'll tell you what, Mitt, the tough part of that was they had him They had him at about the 40-yard line, and, and I, I was saying that he's running. You cannot arm tackle that fella. You know, 6'2", 215, um, and, and probably bigger than that. All right. Got to stiffen up here. Fresh set of downs, first and in, first in, first in goal at the 10. Yeah, right. They had him, and they Gotta just let him out of a tackle. I think you're going to see running attack here. All right, they're going to check call. They're going to audible. Play clock just under 10. Plenty of time. Whitlow's going to hand it to Petway again, and look at that, Mitt. Petway goes in from 10 yards out for the touchdown. Well, that's not what we wanted to start off doing, but that's the result. So, uh, Prattville going to pull right here within, uh, you know, with an extra pending extra point. Could pull it within two points, Mitt. Got a heck of a ball game going here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, Bring Bloom back up here. <laughs> What's up with that? How do we let him out? Bring uh, him back up here. Yeah, so it's um, initial drive of the second half by Prattville. This drive started on the 19-yard line, so they put together a 81-yard drive. And extra point is good, so there we go. Uh, you know, a uh, buck 17 into the first, into the second half, the third quarter. Prattville marches right down on a couple of explosive plays, and boy, Mitt, 23-21 Cougars. Yeah, it was uh, two big plays, and that last one should have never happened because the, the Cougars had a good shot at stopping Petway. They didn't wrap him up and take him down, and if it wasn't for White, he would have taken it into the end zone. White knocked him out of bounds at about the 10-yard line, but he takes it in from 10 yards out for the touchdown. Well, uh, you know, the, the, the appropriate response here is for the Cougars to get the ball back on offense. And, and if you're if you're watching, LeBron Stewart is pumping his arms and his fists, talking to his return team, and uh, I, you know I don't blame him. That's got to be a little disappointing coming right out of the half and allowing him to score on what was that five or six plays? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, All right, uh, let's 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 get up here. Let's get up here, guys. Where it's at least got to go ten yards. We got a little little cup set up here till we determine what what they're going to do. Um, and they're going to kick another short one. By Marquez will not. I, can t I know he isn't going to field that. He's going to look and play the game. All right. Going to get it out to across the 20, out to about the 23-yard line. So Northview will be starting on their own 22-yard line. You know what? Admit it's imperative for the Cougars to get a good, good jump right here. They need to come out and put a drive together. 
uh, while the rest of the while the while the coaches down here, I'm watching them talk to the defense, and uh, they're not very happy. They're talking about this read, and, and they got to get that read. They they got to do that. We had trouble with it last week and do it. Barner a little late coming in for the Cougars. Yeah, White kind of hobbled off the field okay. that time. All right, we're gonna have a, a little stack over on the on the on the short side. Uh, we're gonna give it off to uh, easily with not much nothing there. Boy, Pratt will had that ganged up. At that time, they, that hole closed up quickly, and uh, there was nowhere for easily to go, so he gained about a yard, so to bring up second and nine. And, and I can see the uh, Southern Bone and Joint staff taking a look at uh, Marquez over here on the uh, sideline, so uh, obviously doesn't look like anything serious, just checking him out. All right, we're going to have trips here to the near and wide side. Harris going to be back. Looks, looks, looks. He's got, uh, yeah, good play. He's got Brooks out here. Brooks for first, steps out of bounds. First down yardage. Yeah, it'll be first down Cougars. Nice play by Adrian Brooks. Yeah, it was. That time Harris found Brooks going along the sideline and was able to hit him crossing, and it was complete for a big Northview first down. They needed that, Jimbo. Big they time. need to go down and answer Prattville with uh, a touchdown of their own. Absolutely. There's no question. That's what they got to do here. So let's see, Harris. He's going to have trips out to the wide side. Harris back, back, looking, looking, looking. A little bit of pressure. Uh, but he finds uh, Martin, who's going to step across for a first down. Nice play. So two good passing plays in a row for the Cougars. So that's going to loosen up that uh, running game there for him, got, Jimbo. Got, got to have that. You're going to have to be balanced. And I like what, uh, you know, they got to respect Harris with the run. We saw what he did in the first half with the long one. Uh, yeah, he had a 64-yard run earlier in the game. All right, Harris got trips here to the near side. He's going to give it to Easley. Fake it to Easley. Harris up the middle across the midfield down to about the 46 for about a seven and a half, eight yard gain, Mitt. That was a good decision that time by Harris. He faked the handoff to his running back, and he was able to take it out to uh, near the 45. They're going to see he was down at the 47. I like, uh, I like second and short. Gives you a lot of options. Trips here to the near side. Going to give it to Easley. Easley, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, they have read Easley pretty much most of the night on those. Wide. They got some pretty good team speed out there, Mitt, for, for Prattville. It's going to be hard for them to take the corner. In that case, linebacker Joseph Anderson come up made a play. It's going to be about a two-yard loss. Going to bring up a third and a full five, Mitt. Yeah, there, there was a, a big loss on that play. So, But, hey. They've done a good job of moving the ball on this possession, so on this drive. So, hey, just try to keep it going. They definitely need to do something. They don't need to get. All right. He's got him if he can find him. All right. Harris, boy, he's having to weave, but he's going to be about two yards short. Going to get back down to the 46. He actually had for just a minute there, Mitt. He actually had uh, over here on this side, he had uh, uh, Jalen Thomas had come in. 10th grade running back, and he had him open. But but good play. But, you know, they got a punt. Need to pin them back and play some defense. Well, they were able to pick up a couple of first down on that drive and give the defense uh, an opportunity to take a break. Back deep for Prattville is number four, Anthony Likes. Let's just see what they do. And I think, did Prattville call timeout? Uh, North. Oh, Northview did. Okay. So we have timeout on the field with 7.54 left in the third. Northview leads 23 to 21. The Cougars decided to punt it. All right, they're going to fake it. You know what, Mitt? If you're going to run that, you got to run it hard, and you got to run it up. That was, I don't want to say it was, uh, I hate to use the term tippy-toeing, because that's not really fair, but but it was, we didn't have that hole. Uh, unfortunately, Trey Brown, they just didn't have that hole like we needed it, did we? No, we didn't. So, Prattville will get the ball after Norfolk turns it over on downs. They'll get it at their own 48-yard line. So, the Cougars got to come up with something big defensively. Yeah. 
All right, we're going to have a three-man front. Let's see what we got. Pratt, we're going to. You know, we've had only one turnover in this game. It was the interception by White for the touchdown for the Cougars. And just remember, we're going to have a new safety in the game right now, LeDevin Costin. And Bay's uh, going to rip off about 11 yards there, Mitt. Yeah, that's starting to uh, move the ball on the Cougars. They've got yeah. to. And we, we really thought that that's one of the things we had to be concerned with earlier was would you use those big linemen? They looked to uh, they looked to have a pretty good-sized offensive line and a couple of good running backs. I think we're going to see Petway. Let's see what we got here. Cougars still trying to get everybody situated. Got to remember, Marquez White still on the sideline right now. A pitch back. And, and that's what you're concerned with right there. Look at Petway. And he's going to take it in. And it's looking, starting to look like last week, Jimbo. I just think they not, studied the film. You know, just not making the plays out there on the read there. And you saw it, you know, linebacker comes in and takes quarterback, but there's nobody to take the pitch, man. And you better have somebody to take Petway. Again, I'll say it again, 6'2", 215, and good speed. We saw it. Nobody, I, I'm not sure many, many people on the Cougars team can catch him. And uh, the one man we know that can, Marquez White, is on the sideline. And Petway is starting to rack up some yards here on the Cougars. And the Cougars got to come back. They, they, they allowed, they lost yards on one of the plays, and, and that really cost them on that drive. They had a good drive going. So well, Petway goes up by a score of 28 to 23. The Cougars have given up, I think, 21 unanswered at this point, Mitt. And, and again, got to find a way to do something on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. So Prattwood goes on top for the first time tonight. 28 to 23 with 7, 11 left here in the third. They've come out of the first two drives of the half have put up points. They have scored two touchdowns, 14 points in what, five minutes, less than five minutes. Yeah. Well, actually less than three minutes because they scored with 10-43 um, and they've just put up that second Touchdown of the half at 7-11. All I can say is right now, if you had to guess, uh, guess which team had Popeye on it and ate their spinach at half right now, it'd be Prattville. No questions asked. But, you know, it, it's imperative right now. Right now it's imperative for the Cougars to get take this, whether it's a special teams or, or quite frankly, or put a drive together, got to do it. This is a pivotal possession for the this Cougars This is key. Here. This is key. I'm just going to lay it out. This is the key possession of the night right here. The Cougars have pretty much dominated this game uh, in the first half. They had an opportunity, Jimbo. They had to settle for three points. If they could have punched the ball in that time, which they did, but they were called for a penalty, and it negated the uh, touchdown. But they've got to come out, you know, just come out and put together a good drive. Yeah, and I tell you what, there you go. That tells you something. You Kicker's jacked up and kicks the ball almost out of the uh, back line there. So... So Northview will be starting at their own 20-yard line. They were up uh, 23 to seven. Seven at yeah, one it's time. 21. Just 21 unanswered, Mitt. Yeah. You know, got to give credit for Prattville. They could have, on the road, not having a, not having by their standards a great year by any means, and they could have just rolled up at that point, but. They've rolled up. They've just rolled up the wrong way for us. All right, let's go. we got trips to the near side. Time for us to go to business, go to work. And uh, Harris immediately is going to run the read. And nowhere to go. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're playing some pretty solid defense right now over there on Prattville, aren't they? They really have, and uh, Northview hasn't been able to get to the outside. You know, uh, we've seen uh, the only person I think has been able to get to the outside and pick up substantial yards was uh, that time Carmichael. Yeah. He was able to get to the outside and pick up some big yards. But yeah, still plenty of time left. Plenty of time, but, but but I'm with you, Mitt. we we got to be a little more vertical here. There's no question. No question. I think we're determining we're not going to be able to bust a lot open. We haven't gone deep. We have not gone deep. Newsom in over here on this side. He's crossing the middle. He's open. He's open. He we found got, him. Run. Boy, yeah, that's right. Probably in the area of a hold, but at least you got to play out here to nice play to do some. But, yeah, I'm with you. I think we're going to have a – that or could even be a chop block. It's a hold. 
can't make these kind of mistakes. You know, you're already deep in your own territory. You can't make those kind of mistakes. But uh, he didn't want to give up a sack, so what he did, he, he held him. So, <laughs> which, yeah, like you said, he was he had him a handful of a lot. Like you said, big Yusef Howard, 5'11", 272. Holding. Fence. At the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Going to be all the way back to the six-yard line, Mitt. Not, not the kind of hole that the Cougars need to be in. We're going to be now at a uh, second and, what, 28? Something like that. Second and 24. Yeah, they've got second to get a long to, way, Mitt. Yeah, yeah, they've got to get to the 30-yard line for a first down. And you got to be a little careful when you get uh, when you get into this situation. And you notice the Cougars like playing this little stack up over here. Yep. Harris just trying to make something. Let me tell you something. They are reading him like they're reading him well right now, Mitt. They've made some adjustments, and, and I tell you, hats off to the Prattville uh, coaching staff. They have made adjustments for just about everything the Cougars have thrown at them lately. Right, Mitt? They, they really have. And, and, you know, the Cougars, have, they tried an onside kick, and then they went for it on fourth down. Both times those two things have, have, have yeah. burnt. It, it turned out, and, and it's burnt them. They've scored off both of those uh, miscues. You know, they put together drives to score off both of those miscues. All right, Harris back on third down in his own end zone, deep in his own end zone. All right, looking, looking, he finds it. Oh, if Martin, what a beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. Yeah, yeah, I listen. I'm watching the guys over there. He's going to be about a half well, yard no, short. No, if it's on the line, it's the first down. Oh, that's yeah, right, yeah, it was kicked out. Yeah, I'm just watching. You're right, I got a bad angle. Thanks for straightening <laughs> me out, Mitt. Yeah. My, my sugar must be off here for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> That was a big catch. Yep. Big catch and a big throw. Boy, I can't say enough about Keandre Martin and that catch. Great throw by Harris, too. You know, working it, working it, working it. But Martin uh, really worked hard back to catch that ball. They put it exactly where it had to be. All right. A little life here. Harris going to look. Got a, got a good lead block there. He's got a nice little hole. Going to pick up about three or four. I'm going to tell you, though, I, I did, you know, Harris – <clears throat> That's some pretty tough pavement down there to run on. I mean, they've got a good field here, but at this point in the year, there's not a lot of softness out there, Mitt. No, it's not. So that's a gain of four. Not a bad play on first down. And second and six. Harris coming up just a little gimpy if you're watching. Just a little bit. I'd go downfield. I would definitely go downfield. I'd do it quick, though. There you go. There you, there's your guy. They could have called an offensive Oh, uh, yeah, they could. Yeah. They could. Yeah, because uh, and, and if you watch Harris, he's still trying to shake that last tackle off a little bit, Mitt. Yeah. So it's going to bring up third and six. This is a, a big Yeah, tackle. Cougars got to find something in their arsenal to pick up this six yards. Easily back into the game for the Cougars. I think you got to have him in the block at this point, you know. Let's see if Prattville decides to send anybody. No, they're just going to rush three. Uh, right through the hands of Carmichael, so it will bring up a fourth down for the Cougars. Well, they were able to extend that drive just a little bit, but maybe not, enough, yeah, not enough. Maybe enough time to get some uh, get the defense. Get the defense a little rest, a little understanding of what they need to do this time, Mitt. We'll see. All right. Shira back to punt. Got twin, twin, twin guys back here. And I'm fine with that. You know what? Just, just get the ball out. Stop the ball, Stop guys. It. Yeah. I just soon not have a return. So, Prattville, they've got to come up with an answer to uh, Petway. Yeah. He has just racked up some yards and put up two touchdowns here in the second half, and we still have four minutes to go in the third quarter. And he's the kind of guy that if they, you know, you see, they see a little bit, it looks like this team's getting – he's not a guy you want out there running when you get a little tired. All right, and he's going to be out. We're going to get a freshman. We're going to get Mays back there right now with Whitlow. The Cougars need to force something here. You can give it to Mays looking for a crease. And he picks up about, about six, five yeah. or six. Yep, that's 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 a concern right now, Mitt. We 
we look to be a little tired here late in the third and you know you got some, you got a bunch of big uglies over there for uh prattle that, that uh, so far right now are making some nice holes nice lanes for running we're going to come back with kind of more of a four-man line let's look to see if that didn't read it right look who's got the ball whitlow going to take he it down picks up a first down yeah plenty of down to the 33 yard line we've got a flag though here mitt may have a hold out here on the Dude. wide out let's hope so Hello. yeah it's probably going to come back it's in the territory of holding. There we go. Good break for the Cougars. Well, they needed that, Mitt. They needed something to go their way. They, they really need to come up with a stop here. Yeah. Holding. Offense. Ten yards. Foul. Repeat second down. You know, last week, the way uh, Andrews ran, we were going to try to call in a backhoe to dig a trench. But uh, this week, we don't need that, but we do need to play ball. And Petway back in and running back here, Mitt. They need to put together a stop like they did uh, early, Absolutely. late in the first half. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll see if Balcom and uh, Medford and those guys can do it. All right. They read it. Why? Okay. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that every time. So a short gain on the play. So it's going to bring up third and about seven for Pratt. Well, this is a big third down. The it Cougars is a big third down. need to stop. I mentioned that Michael Reynolds, the uh, sophomore uh, cornerback, uh, was one that really drugged that play out and, and put him in position to take him out. So third and third and a long seven mitt. This, 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 this is a. This uh, is this is key. This we, is we need to stop. We need to stop right now. Got our three, four linebackers looking. Got them all manned up on coverage. Drop back. He's looking. He's looking. Here's what you're worried about. Nice play. Nice play there, and right there. It's going to be short of the first down. Tyler and Ratliff. Well, depends on the spot. Well, no, I, the spot is back there. Yeah, so gonna he, he's going to be short. The question. But they're going to go for it. Yeah, if I'm if at this point, if I'm Prattle and the success I've had running it, I, let me just go ahead and tell everybody who's about to get the ball. Petway. We'll see if I'm right or not. Can't give up a big play on this. I think they tried first for the... Uh, they tried first. We're going to be inside seven seconds. Uh, you know, and he may not even take loose of the ball. Let's see. Well, and just for that, he gives it to Mays, who's going to make... Second well, effort gets the first down. Well, i tell you what I liked. I mean, I have to give him credit. Boy, he kept those legs moving, didn't he? Yes, it did. So it's another prep with first down. They have just dominated this third quarter. You know, they've had three. This is that third possession to one for, yeah. for Northview. We're just going to be right at about the two-minute mark. And All right, Petway again, breaking to the outside, Mitt. Boy, we saw too much of that last week. And Petway streaking down the right sideline, and you know what? They couldn't get him, Mitt. He, flag, flag. we got a flag here. I'm not sure what it is. Well, I'm hoping what we've got is a 42-yard uh, yeah. run. Yeah, they're going to bring it back. Yeah, these two guys, they had the two, they had those two guys tied up, tied up on Balcom. Let's see. Results of the play is a touchdown. There are two fouls on the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the white team. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the red team. That's a touchdown for the Lions. So another 42-yard TD run by Pitway, and it's starting to look like last week, Jimbo. Yeah, and I, I can just tell you what, what's happened is that the uh, the Cougars look like they are a little bit out of gas right now, and and. You got a guy like Petway uh, out there. We're going to be here with we're just a weird extra point away from 28 unanswered points. That's his third touchdown of the half. He had one from 10 yards uh, at 10:43, one from 39 yards at 7:11, and this one comes at 151 from 42 yards out. I, I, I'm just asking. I know they didn't just mark off 15 yards twice and put it in the same spot, did they? <laughs> okay. Did I just see that? 
I wasn't looking. I mean, I guess. That's force of light conduct red. Those fouls are administered separately in the order they were, they occurred. Okay. We'll now play the try. The touchdown is good. And, and I guess because it wasn't on the quote unquote same play, I guess by rules they do mark it off. So. This game is not out of reach. Oh, no. no, you know, By no chance. No, yeah. uh, Prattville was up. Uh, flag, I'm not sure what the call is. We'll find out. There's a motion. Let's see what we got. Delay of game. Okay. Kicking team. Five yards. We'll still play the try. There were 21 points in in uh, the third quarter. Well, 20 right now. If they make that two points, it will yeah. be 21 points. Northview scoreless here in the second half. Yeah, the five yards ain't going to make a difference. We saw this fellow try one for 43. It would have been good for 53. Good penetration, but does look like uh, he made it. And there you go. 28 unanswered points by uh, Prattville. And uh, that's going to put us at a 35-23 margin with Prattville on top right now, Mitt. Yeah, so we have 151 left in the – well, they're still out talking. I think it may have been a penalty on the uh, play. I'm not sure what it was. There he is. Personal foul, Prattville, so that will be assessed on the kickoff. There's a little bit of light for us. Well, you know, if they can come out and score 21 points in a quarter, so can North. Absolutely. Well, that's what I was saying. You know, so, you know, it's just a matter. you got to get out there and refocus. Don't look at what the, sc the scoreboard. Just think about each play. That, there you go. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter talking about what you need. You need seven before you can get 14. Right. I learned that in a philosophy class, Mitt. There <laughs> oh, yeah. you go. How about that? <laughs> It wasn't a real high-grade philosophy <laughs> class either because that's what we were talking about. Uh, yeah. Um, Prevalence is pretty much taking over the second half. They have scored on three possessions, and uh, Northview's only had the ball. Yeah. Let's see. I think they've only made two first downs. I may be wrong yeah. about that, but it's been tough. So Northview will be receiving. You know, White has been out. You know, we talked about him. Yeah, he, he uh, earlier. I, I saw him hanging around the sideline. And and we talked about some pivotal drives in, in, in this game. And, uh. North, you just have, they have just given up some big runs to Pitway. And like I said, it's starting to look like the game against uh, last week. All right. And boy, you hate to see it on a back pedal on there, but Takes nice the play. The there we go. Keandre Martin, who's been a bright spot tonight, and he is going to go. That, that man's not going to catch him. Not sure if 23 can get the angle. How about, about that, Mitt? Touchdown, Cougars. 95 yards. How about 95 that? 95 yards. And I'll tell you what. I'm the first, I just said, hey, on a back pedal, but he found a crease right in the middle. And what vision did he have on that one, Mitt? That was an incredible return. Awesome. 95 yard touchdown return. Kickoff return for a touchdown by Keandre Martin. Have to check the record book somewhere on that, Mitt. That's got to be up there. Nice play to put the Cougars right back in it. Love it. How about that? Let's talk some more philosophy, Mitt. <laughs> hey, now we took care of the seven. Now we're back and we're going to have it within a score. It's going to be with a point pending. Looks like we're at a 35-29 headed to 35-30 here with just a buck 36 left in the third quarter. That's but, the way you get back into a game, Jim. I, I don't, you know, special teams, we'll take it. Pick six and a special teams play, and you know what? We're going to be within five here. And shot. Oh. Oh. You know what? I jinxed us. My fault. Fans at home. He did. He hit the crossbar about as solid as you can hit it. It didn't even kick one way or the other. It just went straight well, it, down. It but really, still. It, doesn't, uh, it would have been 32-35, which well, a field well, goal would have tied it. 
No, you know, he made a mistake. It's actually 35-29, Mitt. That was okay. the scoreboard operator so got that's flustered, six points. too. That's six but that's points. okay. We're still within a score, and I like what I'm seeing. I'm okay with that. Hey, things can turn around. Hey, hey, we talked about it, Jimbo. That's right. I told you. I'm. Gonna, you know what? But I mean, Northview has missed two extra points tonight. They, which they have, that, and that's you know, very so that's uncharacteristic. And one of them, of course, was they went for two on the first play of the game. But Shira is a, uh, is, is a good kicker, so that's unusual. But, hey, you know what? Based on the what, what we were reeling to get back into this one right now and be 35-29, you know, that's good. Now we got to have a defensive stop. We've here, got to stop. Gotta We've got to put together a stop like we did uh, that late drive in the first half. Got to have it. No question. Let's go. Man up, Cougars. Let's go. Got to have a stop here. Can't give up a... All right, another kind of short kick. He's going to look for the wedge. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what. It uh, came loose. The ball is loose. Uh, well, the bean bags are coming everywhere. You know, this one's going to be figured out after the play, so they're going to dig into the pile. I think, I was going to say, I thought the Lions had it and the, and the officials are doing it that way. But Hey, but that's showing a little realness. There. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen. I like that. Let, let me tell you, uh, I, I couldn't catch the player's number, the Northview player that, that just got a hand on him enough to slow him down because he ran right back into that's smart. Ran back into the middle of the wedge and looked for a crease. Um, and here we go. We they're going to have to start from the thirty-five. So the Cougars are going to have to get some negative yardage got plays to, on, on Pratt. Got to be playing. And Marquez White's back in there. Good to see him out here on the corner. The crowd is back into it. All right. Let's read it, guys. Good read. Short gain on that play. Gain of about two. Brings up second and eight. New, new DB in right now, Joseph Rojas. Again, glad to see Mark. You know, they really Warren. haven't been able to pass on Northview. All no. their big plays have come on runs. Right. On the ground. Bay's in the ball game right now. Petway on the sideline. You know what? I, All right, we I, gotta, we gotta, what do we got going on here? I would make them beat me throwing the ball, Jimbo. I would play the run every down. If you're going to beat me, I'm going to make you throw the ball. Yeah. What we got? I'm not sure what we got. We got a clock issue here. All right, go make him go off. Got some kind of an issue here for uh, on the Cougars. Number 41, uh, Bice Rivers, linebacker, is coming off for a play. We need a negative yardage play here. Oh, we talked about got a, a blown coverage, Mitt. Now, I, th I think he's going to get run down, run down just a minute late. Wow, a blown coverage, Mitt. Well, I said make them beat you with the pass, and that's exactly what they did, a 36-yard 36, I, what was that, about a... Yeah, it was at the 36-yard line. Oh, yeah, okay, so 64-yard play. 64-yard TD pass. Can't, Jeez. You can't just give up pick plays like that, but, hey, no. I said I'd make them beat me running, and what did they do? That's, pass for a 64-yard touchdown. That's right. So, it, the hole gets a little deeper, you... You, you dig just, yourself out of it right, a little bit you, and put yourself right back in it. Just put a new blade on the shovel and keep working. Yeah, I guess they was thinking like I was thinking. Extra point is good, so it's a 42 to 29 lead for Prattville. But, hey, we can come right back. Well, we, we just got to stop him defensively, and we have not right. been able to stop him here in the second half. There we go. Need to run it back. That's what we need to do, Mitt. No yeah. question. So we have 33 seconds left here in the uh, third, and that is the fourth score in the, let's see, I believe it is the fourth touchdown here in this year, 10 43, 7, 11, 151, and then they score again with uh, 33 seconds left in the third. So that is the fourth touchdown here in the third. And they all have come on big plays. Yeah, that, all have that's, come on that, big that's plays. what I'm saying. We're just seeing what, what they like, what, what Coach Saban likes to refer to as explosive plays. 
We've seen lots of them. And uh, they've had one that was not an explosive play, but it was set up by an explosive play. A 10-yard run by uh, Pitway, Pitway. After about a 40-plus yarder. Yeah. 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 So if they weren't a big play, they were set up by a big play. But right. we can get another big play here. All right. Hey, we did it last time. Let's see. Let's. So let Martin had a big a 95-yard kickoff return. They're going to kick it in the end zone. Let me tell you, that guy's kicked a couple. That was that was past the inline mitt. That's a that's a bomb. Hey, he wasn't going to give Martin another chance at a at a kickoff return for a touchdown. So Northview will be starting on own twenty. They have not put together a drive this half. No, no, they hadn't done it. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, right. the only points came off special teams. Uh, a ninety-five yard return by Keandre Keandre Martin. Down to 33 seconds left in the third. It's a 13 point lead. Well, we got to get it back. This is. And that's not an insurmountable. No, no, it's not. You're two scores away. Just got to find it. Got to get some kind of rhythm going here. And a gain of about six. Yeah. By Harris. What's got to happen, though, Mitt? Cougars are going to have to score literally on every possession. You've got to have defense got to come up with some stops. They've got to stop them on every possession or force a turnover. They almost forced a turnover on the kickoff, but uh, they weren't able to recover the ball. All right, going to have twins to both sides. Going to bring Barner in motion. It's going to let Barner try and look for a seam out there. You know, I, I, I tell you, Mitt. And, and, and uh, he's going to get a first close. down. He's close. Yeah, he just has to get to the 30 because the ball was kicked in the end zone. So if the ball is spotted at the 30 anywhere on the line, it's a first down. You know, one of the things is that on that play for us. It's that, a first down. There we go. And we need that for some success. I think that play, they've got to find an inside seam because if they stay outside, Pratt will show them they got enough speed to take us to the corners with it. And, and the thing is, Northview hasn't gone downfield, so Prep not, Village not is playing up. Not They're not playing up. They sure had. End of the quarter. But so there. we've come to the end of three, and the score is Prep 42, Northview 29. We'll be back with the fourth quarter of action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Hello and welcome back to Review Stadium, Knowledge of Field, where the Cougars are trying to fight their way back into this game against the Prattville Lions. Hi, I'm Mick Kirk, along with uh, Jimbo Lawson, and the Cougars are trailing 42 to 29. Here we go, Mitt. We're going to have trips out to the right side. First down. Harris looks, 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 pressured out, and he's just going to throw it away, and that was a good move because nothing there. It's a Pramil will bring up second and ten. All right. We're going to have trips back out to the far wide side. Here, we need to find somebody, Mitt. And I think we can find it over there. He's going to run a short one into Carmichael. He's going to pick up about five. So we're going to have third and a long six. I say, excuse me, third and short six. And the ball is at the 35, so it'll be third and five. All right, Harris still got up to 20. Looking for something off a hard count there. Going to audible. Still got tw trips out to the far side. Harris looks, looks, looks. Look for Martin over the middle. Yeah, that was a lot of traffic there on that one, Mitt. Yeah, I think he had, uh, Carmichael had some, he was open over on this side if you could have gotten to the ball. But so it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, 
And they need it to keep that drive alive. To, yeah. To, to, to. And, 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 you know, this will be our, our second pivotal, pivotal but a second important series of the half, Mitt. Yes. After this, we got to get a stop. We cannot afford to give up points and then be in a position where we're going to need and, three scores. All right. There we go. All right. It's going to be up for the Cougars. The Cougars need to make a stop quick here, Mitt. Yeah, the uh, ball is going to be down at the 38-yard line. They have not stopped Prattville at all this second half. They no. did a good job the first half, but the second half they have not. I mean, I don't know if they've even got them on a negative yard play this half. Yeah, I had seen they're going to, you know, they're they're spreading it out pretty well. They've got they got double twins out. They're going to have Mister Mays in yeah. the backfield. Yeah, so Northey's got to play back off the line now. Yeah, and and and, and this is the concern right here. He stepped out of bounds. Thank goodness. But after picking up the first down, he stepped out at about the 49-yard line you, of North. You know, I got to give credit. Uh, you know, the uh, Prattville offense and that offensive line has now looked like they've. You know, when you're doing the five on three, I mean, you got you're wearing a three-man front for the Cougars, and and it's starting to show its wear and tear, and there's starting to be some holes. Um, in there, and, and you know, I, I and they've taken advantage of them. And you got two good running backs again with Mays and Petway. Um, right, yeah, they're just a three man line, and yeah. it's, it's, and that's tough. I'm just telling you, that's tough to do. It is. So you can open back, up some holes. Yeah. Good they, stop. That's the best read of the best read of the second half, right there. A quarterback, uh, Whitlow, tried to do a little draw. And he picked up about one. So it'll be second and nine. All right. Cougar's shifting a lot of personnel around. It'll be an audible called in here as the play clock touches just under 10. Yeah, they're going to try to use as much clock as they can. Yeah, and that, that's... All right, we're going to see Mays again trying to go on that wide sweep. You know, we got to make that tackle. We cannot let this guy turn the corner. So he's out at the 45. So it's going to bring up third and about uh, six. And again, uh, Marquez White coming up with a little stiff legged out there on the corner, Mitt. Yeah, I see him reaching down. Oh. This is a big third down. Oh, if they can huge. stop them here and get the ball back and, uh, you know, like I said, they're only yeah. 13. They're less than two touchdowns and extra point and it's, behind. Yeah, and it's, uh, and right now it's, uh, they need to stop, they need to stop them on this play. Big fella, Petway. He's and gonna he's going to have a first down. Yeah, it looks like we got some extracurricular back in the back. I didn't see it is, but both those guys saw him. Those two guys. Uh, I think it's against North. Yeah, it's Marquez White was having a little pushing match there with Jimmy Stoudemire, wide receiver. Face match. Yeah, well, that's a sign of frustration, Mitt. I'd do the same thing. Personal foul, face mask, defense. 15 yards from the end of the run. The results of the play in the penalty yardage is a first down. They don't need any help. <laughs> no, that's, 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 you know, that's, and, and, and they didn't call it, but I, that's on Marquez White. Marquez got into, into a tie-up with him. I don't know if there was something happened first with somebody else, but. All right, Whitlow, good got pressure. Him. There you go. Good defense. That's the first negative yardage play we've seen Northview make this entire second and half. And that's a good job. That's all of them. That was uh, Medford and uh, Balcom and uh, Whitehurst and uh, maybe even uh, Stephen Spivey in there. That was a good play. Needed needed that. Make it second long here. Right. A loss of about five. Yeah. Come on. Jeez. Boy, Pitway is just. That was Mays that time. It was Mays, yeah. 20. Mays, let me tell you something. That fella, 
He's 5'8", 180. And let me tell you, he just punished him when he got down there to the five-yard line. That's a tough tandem, Mitt. Yeah. Different style runners, but both of them tough. All right, first and goal at about the two. See what Whitlow does. I think he's going to give it to Mays again. And Mitt Mays got stuck. Second You know what? Never went down. So that was about a two-yard touchdown run. Two-yard play, yeah. That's going to put it at the – that's going to take this one up to – potentially up to going to be 49 – Pending the extra point, 49 to 29 is what we're looking at. Facing here with 9:21 left in the fourth, and they have scored on every possession here in the second half. And if right. follow the uh, the snap, there we bit. go. See, I, see, every time I say we we'll go ahead and pre-call a score, it doesn't happen. 48-29, and there's a flag too. Snap infraction. Offense. That penalty is declined. The try is no good. Okay, so miss extra point by Prattville. The score yep. now stands at Prattville Lions. 40. So Prattville goes up 48 to 29 over the Cougars of North here. And their defense has really struggled here uh, these last two games. The Cougars defense. Yeah, they sure have. They sure have. They have really. Uh, Giving up, and in this case, Mitt, I'm just going to say it looks really more of a. They started off well, had a good plan. Uh, Prattville made some adjustments, but quite frankly, just looks like Prattville's wearing them down. Yeah. So 9:21 left in the fourth. Prattville up 48 to 29 over Northview. So another big touchdown by the Prattville Lions. A two-yard run by Mays. You know, Mitt, one of the things we were just talking about was that this, that, that this is, you know, two weeks in a row we've seen what looks like that the, uh, you know, Cougars have been really have started out fine but worn down before the game's over. And, you know, one of the things under consideration right now by the Board of Education is the, uh, is this whole, is this about this new uh, new multi-purpose weight, weight room and practice facility over there at Northview. And quite frankly, they, they need some additional facilities. Very substandard over there to be in 6A. Uh, you know, Dothan High, by way of what they've got, actually got you know better facilities. Long kick, uh, going to be come out to the 20 because it's going to be back deep in the end zone, and we know the rule in high school, school football, you can't take that. But anyway, I, you know, I hope that it's a uh, something that the board looks at really seriously. I know they're looking at it now and considering it, but, you know, uh, if you're going to compete in 6A, you got to have the – you got to have the facilities and all that to make it happen. And I can tell you, they have little, no, you know, uh, girls facilities over there. My daughter's a soccer player, you know. But you know what they've made do with what they can, and you know, I, I hope that's a decision that can come to fruition. Well, 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 well Jimbo, my feelings on it: if we want to have the best teams, we got to have the best facilities. That's right. If we want to have the best city, we got to provide provide our our citizens with the best facilities and and that attitude goes all the way through if you you, you should always want to be the best at whatever you do in number one sure. but you got to provide the facilities that compete with other cities and if you look and over and we, and we see what enterprise has, has done i understand you know would, would hate to see the circumstances that happen under it obviously but but they've come out with they've got facilities ozark doing some great things up there We'll come back after this play. White, uh, J- Jalen Harris looks, 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 looks. Nice play. He's got Keandre Martin again. Martin, uh, nice play. Going to get across the 50. Uh, nice play. Nice play. Uh, he found a way to get open underneath. Had Carmichael long and uh, Brooks kind of short. And Martin found his way into the middle there. And for a nice play and moved the chains, Mitt, with 8.59. So nine minutes left and a 19-point spread. And, like to see the Cougars working hard still here on offense. That was a gain of about 32 yards. Nice play. And we talked about how they haven't gone uh, yeah. deep tonight. And Harris looking, 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 and he's going to go deep. And look who he's got, the big man. Oh. And look who knocks the ball away again. Wow. Number two. That's uh, 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 Steele. Walter Steele has played some great ball tonight. He, that's the third one he's knocked away. Tonight, that ball was just a little underthrown he, because he needed to get it up high. Steals a lot shorter than than Carmichael and Lopez Pittman down there again. He he's not, but he's six six, so he 
he definitely had a uh, he had a nice advantage over the 5-8 still, but uh, still a nice defensive play. All right. Second down from the Prattville line, 49. Let's find it. Harris looking, a little different pressure coming. He's on the run. He's going to dump it That could have been a flag there. He was, he was hit out of bounds. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he got a pretty good push right there at the sideline, didn't he? Yes, he did, and he was he was out. But, you know. but anyway, back, you know, we'll we touch on those facilities again. Again, I hope those are seriously considered. And, again, you know, we want to see that. We want to see good feeder programs coming up for the middle school. So, you know, uh, anyway, hopefully yeah. that will be considered the right way. Yeah, and, and we've got to have a positive attitude about things. We, You know, I, I look at our city as a whole. Dothan has so much potential. Yeah as a city, as a community. But we've got to come together and we've got to provide the best for our community. And we've got to have an attitude that we want to be the best. Oh, oh all right, Harris, quick. Oh, oh, boy, that was dangerous. Snap was a little early, a little high, and uh, he was going to try to catch uh, Carmichael on a quick hitter. And that could have been disastrous the other way. Yeah, it could have. But you're right, Mitt. You know what? I I was uh, I was uh, – working out of town at the time, but I remember when there was a big stink about spending 600000 to run water lines and sewer out to the highlands. You know, you sure hate to see that not being here. So Right, yeah, and, and then, you know, we look at this facility here now, the, the, the press box and all, and it's a nice facility because the other facility was outdated and dangerous. Dangerous. Now, now we have a very nice facility, roomy facility. All right, Harris on the run. He's got some open yards in front of him. Nice play. He's going to pick up the first down and a little more. Harris down to the to the Prattville 35 and gets out of bounds with 821. Good play. A great effort that time by Jalen Harris to make that play. It looked like he was going to be stopped short of the first down, but he was able to kick on the afterburners and get to the outside and pick up a first down and keep this Cougar drive alive with 821 left in the fourth. Yeah, Cougars, Cougars are in a position where they, sh they should have an opportunity based on this, if they can push it in here and score, to be able to get the ball at least two more times if they can just stop that Prattville team. So let's take the business in hand. Let's see if we can get this first uh, touchdown first and uh, work a score, and we'll go from there. Harris back, he looks, he looks, he's got plenty of time. Going deep to Carmichael, wide open, touchdown. Beautiful play. It's going to be a third, actually a what, a 34 30, yard. 34, but he threw he threw that ball about 45 in the air, Mitt. And Beautiful. we talked about going deep. We, we said the Cougars had to go deep. That time he went deep for 34 yards to uh, Carmichael in the end zone for a touchdown. Car Carmichael split the defensive backs, and he was wide open, and we saw the result. Beautiful play, 48-35. Cougars now definitely back within striking distance here, Mitt. If they hadn't given up that last touchdown, they definitely would be, Jimbo. Absolutely. Well, you know, hey, here's where we are. We, we, we What I like to see is we got some fight, and we're coming after it, and we didn't, we haven't, I never would have expected them. They wouldn't toss in the towel, but 48-35, 8-13 to go, Mitt, and uh, the Cougars breathe some life. Got to have some defense, Mitt. Got to have some. And that was the first drive that they really sustained here in the second half. Absolutely. That drive was for 80 yards. It started on the 20, and, and that big fourth down play by Harris set things up. On the very next play, he throws a 34-yard strike to uh, Carmichael in the end zone. Well, that was a heck of a play. Good stuff, good stuff. Glad to see it. And Again, Cougars have breathed in some additional light. Let's see what happens. So we are getting ready for the kickoff after the touchdown by the Cougars. And defensively, we've just got to come up with a way to stop. Uh, Prattville, a force to turn over something. we got to turn over early on the uh, – Second possession, North um, White intercepted a pass from 27 yards out to take it into the end zone for the touchdown. Turnover would be very nice here, Mitt. But, you know, hey, turnover, but I'll tell you what, right now I just take a stop. Right, a stop. Anything. I'm going to take it at about the 10. Okay, good, good coverage. He's going to get it back to about the 30-yard line. Pratt will have it first and 10 at their own 30 with about eight, just a little bit over eight minutes left, Mitt. Yep, so it's this. We need to get them three and out here. The Cougars need to get them three and out. Yeah, we need, and, and, and you know, I, I think we're going to get a big dose of, uh, of Mays and Petway here, but uh, 
Line. And if I'm Pratt, well, that's what I think I'm going to do. Let's see if my line can do something. And right out of the block, we're going to have, you know. They had him in the backfield for a loss. We did have him in the backfield and for a loss. And he picks up 15 yards. 16 yards. They had him back there, but the speed of Petway, he was able to. Was that Petway? Uh, no, that's, that uh, was, that uh, was Mays. 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 But let me tell you, and that's it's exactly what we had. Tyler, Tyler Brown had him. Uh, had, a, had a hand on it. Mays got some nice speed. He was just able to outrun it. And now, here's what happens. Big run by Mays, so let's bring in Petway. Nice to have that kind of a tandem. I think you're going to see a lot of it. I think you're going to see a lot of running here. We're down to 7.53 left in the fourth. 48.36. Northview trailing. And there you go. Whitlow going to going to go going to Go for about a nine and a half, maybe ten yards based on the spot. Uh, it's be, if it is, if it's second down, it's second and about a half. And that's what they're calling here: second down and about a half yard. All right. Watch, don't give up a big play on yeah. this. You know, that's the thing we 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 haven't been able to. to, to to contain them tonight in the second half. We did a good job the first half. Another thing that makes me a little nervous, Petway's jersey's not dirty enough. All right. All right, there you go. That's what we need to do. Come on, guys. I, they stopped him. They he stopped short. him. He's, he's been, you know, and, and, and well. they almost had him for a loss. Yeah. But. Well, they, they got actually, he lost about a half yard on that play, Mitt. So third, third and one. I would look for him to try to try to get a pass. Well, the clock is in their favor at six forty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're gonna know, try it, to get Northview's everybody up on the line and try to hit them with a screen pass. Yeah, let's let's. So you got to play for that. Well, and, and what they haven't done is a good job of reading this option. So let's see if they do that. Well, they're really just gonna do a quarterback lead. Look at that. Whitlow breaks loose. Um, Wow. So it's another first down, and it stops the clock with 6.16 left in the fourth. Inside the 30-yard line down to about the 27 bit. Yeah, and like I said, they've scored on every possession here in the second half, and they, they are getting close to the red zone again. We've got to come up with a stop. And you're in, you're in four-down territory, so you can chew up a good two-plus minutes of the clock, Mitt. Yeah. All right. Need somebody to – we need to make a good tackle but strip the ball. There's Mays running with the ball. There's a couple of good licks down there. He's still going to pick up about five. And he's going to be shy of the 20-yard line down. They're going to mark him down at about the 22. Clock's going to clock's gonna just run inside the six-minute mark here. So it'll be second and about five. All right. I believe we're going to see another day. We're either going to see Whitlow or Mays. I don't see him putting it in the air anytime soon. Do you, Mitt? No. Well, I said something about it last <laughs> time. I'm not going out there of the limb again. All right. Uh, as as I'm just saying it because <laughs> I hope they'll throw it and we'll get a pick. That's the only reason I'm saying uh, it. I just can't imagine he's going to do anything other than Mays has had good success running here. He's going to pull it down inside the 20 to about the 19, maybe even as close as the 18. He's going to be about a half, about a yard short. He's yeah. going to bring up a third and one. Clock will be inside five minutes before they snap this one. We need a negative play here, a negative yardage play. You know, they're only down 12 points. Oh, I know it. I know it. Just right got to get, get the ball back. Need a holding call, need something, need a turnover. All right. Whitlow's going to turn. You know, the problem you got when that happens, Mid, is going to call him out at about the one. Um, and, you know, that's the problem. When you got it stacked up there and you're trying to stop it, a guy breaks it, you see the result. So it's down to about the one-yard line, first and goal. And this would be the, let's see, third quarter, one, two, 
three. Four. Five. They've scored six touchdowns this half. Well, well 23 what is the half? It was 23 to uh, 14. Okay. That would be it would be correct. They've scored at least five. All right. And Mays bowls in for the touchdown bet. That's that's you know what? I see I hear all the some of the 300, the 300 pound ladies starting to warm up their voice, Mitt. I'm afraid oh, yeah. they're about to start singing. We, we're we going to have to have something explosive about on the kickoff or right after that to put ourselves back in any kind of position here. We are full three scores away. Yeah, yeah. So Every we, time we, we score, they you can't trade uh, no. touchdowns. No, not when you're down by two touchdowns. All right, 54 36, 4, 4 36 left. I'll go ahead and say it. 55 pinning the extra point. They miss it usually when I say that. Not this time. So Prattmo goes up over Northview 55 to 36 with uh, 436 left in the fourth. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So we're getting ready for the kickoff after the touchdown by Prattmo. They're up, 30, up, by, up 55 to 36. One positive thing that you can take out of this game, Northview's put up 36 points yeah. on Prattville. Yeah, offensively, you know, the Cougars have been able to do something. Granted, well, you know, out of that 14, they still put up, what, 22. They, they've had, uh, would that be right? Yeah, they've still put up points. They, you know, they had one pick six, and they also had a uh, return for a touchdown, but uh, a kickoff return for a touchdown. Need one of those here, too, although this guy's been knocking it deep. There you go. All right, Andre Martin's got a shot. But, you know, that's – that's here it is, you know, out to the 15-yard line. I just was glad he was going to have a shot at a return. But good coverage by Pratt. Well, got to give hats off to Pratt. Well, good coverage on that kid. Yeah. Uh, Martin, uh, was that Martin that ran yeah. that back? It was a 95-yard. That's right. Uh, kickoff return for a touchdown. So we're down to four and a half minutes left. And – Cougars just need to keep this drive alive and, uh, you know, try to get make some positive things happen. Yeah. And, and you I, know, this overall I think it's been a very positive year oh, for no the Cougars. Oh, no question asked. No they, question They asked. have beat some teams that no one gave uh, them a chance. You know, they went down and beat uh, Foley. Yeah, beat Foley and, and, and had a uh, had to do that over some, you know, they, they were playing at least 12. A flag on the play. Yeah, I'm not I sure saw it's that. a face I'm not mask or what. Well, it, it happened right about the time that uh, Jalen Harris got tackled. So, let's see. Intentional grounding. Offense. Oh, okay. Half the distance from the spot of the foul. Loss of down. I, I didn't see him get rid of the ball, Mid. I thought he was just sacked. No, I thought he was sacked, too. I didn't I didn't see him throw the ball. I, you know, obviously. I was an intentional grounding. I'm assuming he actually threw the ball. That's the only thing I can do. I, that's the only thing I can assume. We're. We're a long way away, and our eyes are a little old, Mitt. Maybe we miss well, out. Well, I got on an extra pair. Well, I got on, <laughs> I got them on two, but somehow I miss out. Hey, he's got two, and we we got four up here. I mean, well, actually eight. So I think we should be able to see better than him. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Let's see what we get here. You know, right, just almost almost at the four minute mark, second and off. Yeah, probably 20, 20 second yards, 20. second and 20. I say Northview, you say Cougar. Northview. 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 All right, Harris out of his own end zone, looking for a little hole. You know what? He was trying to make something happen, Mitt, and uh, he actually ran into his own uh, blocker. And I'm not uh, that, he, he, that. He was out of the end zone. Yeah, he was, he was just barely out. Forward progress got him, I kid you not, about a foot out of the end zone. Yeah. Yeah, they were hoping for a safety. He, he actually was coming through, and you notice he ran into one of his linemen there, and, and then it just all collapsed on him right there. But, uh, all right. Hey, third and third, not the position I want to be in. I, I'd go deep. <laughs> I'd go I, you deep. Know. You know. 
And if they give up a safety, what's the big deal? Yeah, you know. yeah, three minutes left and you're three scores down. I'm not, you know, you got to ask, do you go for it on fourth? <laughs> yeah. I, and, and the reality is you probably don't. You probably try to play ball like you're supposed to play. All right. Oof. Well, he was trying to hit uh, Adrian Brooks coming across at about the 11-yard line just to give some breathing room and uh, unfortunately was not able to hold on to the ball over here on the near sideline. So they're going to do the – you know what? You, you go ahead think, and play like you normally play. Let's punt I think the ball. I, I, I wouldn't punt. I think I'd just take a knee and get the safety, you know. Uh, they because, don't do that, I'd fake it. But they, you see what they've got. They've got a uh, you know, see, man yeah, I at think about you, the 15. He's yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I'd take a safety. And that <laughs> way I, you'd probably get them a little deeper <laughs> than trying to punt the ball. Well, and, and two points really doesn't make any difference. All right. Well, if you're not, did he step on the back line? I think he did, man. So it is a safety. Well, so. they, I, they listened to you. <laughs> not, I don't think it was intentional, but, but nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, whatever you lost. You know, still got to yeah. You got to give. You got to kick off anyway. So you you get you be in a better position to kick the ball off than you were back yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And you're still down. You're down 19. You're down 21 now. Right. And by the way, we weren't going to get the ball. You know, the only thing that took out was two touchdowns, two two point conversions, and a field goal to tie. And I'm pretty sure at 2:56 we don't have that kind of time, do we? I don't think so, unless you and I suit up and get out there, and everybody would wouldn't pay us any attention. Hey, They'd give us the ball, and we hey, could, if we could make it <laughs> to the other end of this. Mint with two fifty six, <laughs> we couldn't get dressed in time to get any of that done. Okay. Hey, I still have some eligibility left. Okay. Really? I didn't play football. Okay. Okay. So, right. so you I, still you know, got so a year. I, I I should have some eligibility left. All right. You know. Well, I you know after the broadcast, <laughs> let me know how many teams call you. Uh, well. Hey, you've already heard Coach Parrish talk. He's <laughs> glad I'm out of eligibility. He was glad. He wished I was out of eligibility a little earlier, but nonetheless. Yeah. So. Uh, All right. We're going to actually kick it off. So, well, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. You, you sure. really, you really bet off because they would have gotten the ball inside yeah, they the 20. Yeah, they the ball at about the 20, 25. Right. And at least this way, you know, they, they have a chance of. Backing them up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Shira's got a good enough leg. If they're at the 30, they could have to backpedal to the 20. Let's see how they do on this. And he and he did. He's going to get that back to about the 25. Let's see if we can make a play here, guys. That's what we got to do. Well, all right. Late the flag coming in. I don't know if that was uh, holding, blocking the bell. Let's see what we got. Holding, yeah. See? In better position. It was back there, so uh, it's probably from the spot of the foul. Yeah, and that's Josh Bigham's uh, defensive back who's down down on the play. Uh, we're going to have the good folks from Southern Bone and Joint come out. And of course, we also know this play is going to be pushed back based on the penalty. Yeah, but uh, like I was saying, Jimbo, you know, maybe if we got out there, they would say, oh, those old men, they can't run. <laughs> you know, and they give me the ball and I pitch it over you and let you take it down. Really, we better be, <laughs> hey, Mitt, we better be very close. But, hey, but all we got to do is have Waffle House down the other end of the end zone. Hey. Now, now you're talking, Mitt. No, now see, talking. the buffet is open. So let me make sure what I'm hearing is you're telling them, say, put three pork chops in the end zone and let us go. There you go. Okay. There you go. Hey. I got you. Well, the problem is we ain't got time for me to do it three times. I ain't got enough. You know, I was already puffing coming up the stairs uh, yeah. earlier, so I don't know that I'd be able to make three trips down there, but uh, – in all seriousness, we, we, we sure hope they're they're checking on Josh Biggums right now, and of course we obviously hope all is well. Yeah, uh, we have 2:45 left, and the score is 57-36, Prattville leading Northview. So that was a penalty. Let's see what the ref says. Holding, receiving team, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First and ten, Brown. So it about, a, about a forty-yard penalty, Mitch. So, hey, I uh, love it. I love it. Yeah. You know the Cougars. You know I'm proud of what these guys have accomplished Absolutely. this year. You know, uh, they've come out and, and they have competed in most of the games that they haven't won. Yeah. You know, and and they've won some big games going over to Foley and 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 beating them at Foley that's is huge. no easy yeah, that's easy huge. feat. That was huge, and I agree with you. Boy, I, you know I like what I've seen this year by these guys. 
gives you something great to work on and build on in the off season. And uh, and, and that's a positive, you know. And, and they're going to end up this year five and five. And I know they would have liked to have won this game and, and end up being in a uh, positive light. But you know, based on recent history, you know what five and five gives you something to build on. Right, it, it does. And Coach Stewart's done a uh, wonderful uh, job with uh, with the Northview program, turning it around, and and it's looking upward. And and and. You know, I've seen a lot of positive things happen with this team this year. I really have. And I've enjoyed watching them play. Absolutely. You know, and it wasn't that many years ago, a while back, that, you know, both both uh, this Northview team as well as Dothan Hive were down in numbers and whatever. And we've seen that trend turn around both with uh, Coach Stewart and, and, and as well as Coach White at Dothan High. So, and, of course, you know, at Prattville right now we're under two minutes. And, and you know what, here's kind of a little more, and I hate to use the word classy, Sound like Ron Burgundy. Keep it, <laughs> keep it classy, uh, but uh, but but quite frankly, uh, you know they're coming in here and they're 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 playing a lot of players right now, and that's good to see. You know they're not going to the playoffs, but they're getting some guys some playing time. You know we didn't see that last week with Fairhope. You know uh, I'll, I'll bring that back up again. You know I, I hope they were trying to get Andrews some scholarship or some looks at some other school while you're playing that guy late in the fourth quarter with the playoffs coming up, but. Uh, Anyway, nonetheless, Prattville's uh, making some changes here, and Cougars got a few new bodies in as well. And you know, for these seniors with a minute left, last game of the year, and I, you know, I'm okay with this. Hey, you know what? You got guys. You, know, you got some guys that got to play next year for you. Let's get them out here and let them get some throws. So it's fourth down. The pass was incomplete. So the Cougars will get an opportunity to get the ball back. And, and, and like I said, Jimbo, these guys, and we need to make sure we have the facilities for our athletes. Absolutely. You know, we, how we, we can't compete with other schools if we don't have equal no. facilities. And, and we've got to do that. We've got good coaching staffs in place now. We've got to get the facilities in there. And the community has come out and supported. The attendance has been good this year for both Dothan and Northfield. Yes, it has. All right, nice little play, Martin who had a big play earlier, uh, did break away from one tackler, but uh, good downfield pursuit by Prattville. So just under a minute, 47 seconds left, and uh, Cougars going to get the ball on offense, and uh, I think we're going to see some uh, – let's see what we're going to do here. Yeah, so the Cougars will be taking over at, the, at their own 31-yard line. Harris is still in Harris the game. Harris in, a couple new players. Uh, well, let's see. We... Jalen Thomas, the uh, sophomore in at running back. Got to get a play in, just under 10. Jacavius Newsom coming in at wide receiver, number four. I had to call a timeout. That's okay. Let's get these guys a play or two under their belt. I don't. So Northview calls a, a timeout. But like we were saying, Jimbo, we just uh, wish uh, the Cougars the best of luck next year and congratulations this year for uh, a turnaround season. And, um, you know, just the positive attitude that, that I've met the new principal over at Northview. Uh, yeah, Shaw, Chris Shaw. Yeah, and uh, he's very positive, and I like what he's done. I like what they've done to the campus, too. Yeah, they've done, you know they come over there. They've paved the parking lots. They've done some things to clean some up. Some landscaping to be done and some and, painting, and, and, and yeah, and it's and it's a good thing. And listen, it's just it's, this is a good way to get the ball rolling. And uh, I'm I am confident in what Coach Stewart and his staff can do. They've done a good job this year, and and, and doing a great job. I, you know, they got a couple of things going on. They Carmichael Carmichael got took that. a pretty good lick over there trying to catch that one. That's. I pop on up and go on back. Yeah, that was it. And by the way, that is hard ground there, Mitt. It's been walked on now since oh, yeah. August, and you'll see it. It's uh, it's, it's 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 packed in pretty good. I don't see much grass there. Yeah, there's not. You know, the other thing I'll mention too, they've got a, a good FCA chapter going on over there at Northview. Um, not exactly sure they got, it, but they've got that at you know Houston Academy and some of the other schools here. So a lot of good things in our area in our community. Harris on the scramble again. He's done that a lot tonight. Going to be pulled down by the shoulder there. And uh, 31 seconds. Mitt, that may be. That's probably going to be it. 
You know, and I hate to say, the only reason I say that at this point, they might try to get another playoff. You know, you don't want anybody to get Harris senior. You don't want anybody to get hurt. You can tell they're a little tired, a little banged up late in the game, and I don't think. And I, I guess think, we called a timeout. Yeah, yeah Northview calls a timeout. Uh, we have just 15, 15 seconds. But uh, like we were saying, you know, it's just uh, – it seems like it's a whole new attitude. Yeah. You know, they have reestablished a lot of pride in in the school out there. I passed by, and like you said, the things I saw, the parking lot yeah. repaved and trees and landscaping out there. And I know they've done a lot of work on, on the interior of the building, and those are all positive things. It creates a, a positive atmosphere for the students and the faculty. And, you know, I, I'll tell you this, just for the school system to be in a position to even consider doing a building like this and kind of the climate we're in, you know what, that's impressive in itself. And, and I, you know, hats off to Superintendent Tim Wilder and what he's done. We see him in both Dothan and Northview games. He's out there spending time in the schools, um, doing some great things. So I, I'm impressed with where he is and uh, looking forward to some good continued leadership on his part. Yeah, Tim has really uh – really got this school system going in the right direction. He's been a, a very positive, made a positive impact, not just on the students. He's made that on the faculty and staff. Uh, he's going out and helped in the, in the cafeteria and, uh, and just uh, help with the janitorial staff, maintenance staff and all of that. He's going out and he's just helped to all, all kinds of things in all kinds of positions, and, and that way it, it brings uh, appreciation and pride to, to the school. And it does, Mitt, and, you know, I know the, uh, like I said, I know the Cougars are disappointed. They sure would have liked got to win these seniors to get that winning record. At the same time, i got to tell you, the uh, folks from uh, Prattville are excited. That team's excited. You know, they were at the risk of losing this game tonight and having a losing season for, you know, hadn't been in the playoffs since 99 and could have been worse. But, you know what, good show. And, I, boy, I'm sure glad that the Cougars got to have to play a end up this year playing a very good, even though their record didn't reflect it, but a very good Prattville team that's been a powerhouse. Play the good teams. Why play somebody, somebody that you know you can whip last game of the year? You know, let's come up here and play something big to get ready for the offseason, Mitt. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Jimbo. It's been a great season. I appreciate all that you've done for us this year and over the years. And uh, thanks uh, to Coach Harry Wayne Parrish, and he's also the uh, chairman of the school board. We appreciate all that he does for the school system here and uh, for athletics and for academics, too. Well, I've told you the last thing I'll say about this all is, Mitt, it, you know, the Cougars keep improving and the Dothan Tigers keep improving, and I've said this a couple of times, then they're going to be look, you know, you, they're going to be demanding that you get some upgraded coverage up here in the box. And <laughs> so I know where that puts me, but uh, I really have enjoyed it. It's another great year of uh, high school football and lots of great things going on, and it's been great. I'm glad to see the direction Dothan and Dothan City Schools are moving and uh, all good stuff, Mitt. And it's been a fun year. It's been very a lot of fun and exciting to watch the, the Cougars and the Tigers play this year. Absolutely. It, it's been a lot of fun. And I wish all of the uh, the uh, players the best of luck, those who are graduating. I hope that they continue to have success in life as well as if some that move on to the next level of, of football. So. Absolutely. And that's going to wrap it up for us tonight, our cameraman tonight. Willie Elder, this is Mick Kirkland and Jimbo Lawton saying good night from Ripley Stadium, Knowledge of Field, and thanks for watching the Scenic Sports Network. You've been watching High School Football Game Night, presented by Scenic Cable Network and Productions. Join us again next time.